I'm saying? Yeah, it's a whole bar. It's a it's a real realized whole bar over here, man. On my laptop, you gonna plug it right now. Okay, big guy was Jay in his thing. Let me get him squared away. Get everybody squared away real quick. Mm-hmm. Oh snap! You know what? Let me do this. I always forget to do that. Switch to other account. It's like Bang. All right, now we good to go. Now we good to go. Now we what the young kids call is Gucci. I hear about Gucci Man having uh, his own clothing line. I mean, not his own clothing line, his own line with um, Gucci. I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's weak as fuck. I ain't mad at him getting a bag, but it's like, bro, stop partnering with these businesses. Don't even really fuck with us like that. I mean, if anything, they should have given him that partnership a while ago. Before. Yeah. I I'm trying to do it now to try to save face. Mm-hmm. Oh, Keon Poli. Oh, it's a nice bottle that you got there, young Jay. <laughs> Looks chilled, too. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's waiting on Takara, and we might have one special guest pop in. So listen, man, we live. I'm already here, bro. On, uh, <laughs> we're live on YouTube, so pull over real quick. It's YouTube.com forward slash to hear more. We're about to get it going, man. Love to see y'all there. Thank y'all for always tuning in. I was trying to go live. Right beforehand, just to give y'all that head something that's about to go down. Uh, hey, you got this one with the homie notification. Hey, get the notification if you subscribe. Why the fuck doesn't Keon have a shirt on? No one's gonna have no shirt on, bro. I'm so sick what? Fuck, man. I am so sick. Listen, y'all pull up right now, man. We're about to get it going. I we doing D'Angelo about. karaoke? What's happening here? <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Um, uh, so <laughs> such a uh, can we swear on this thing? Yeah, all right. You think this is say... on stage page? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I was gonna say that's such We're like degenerates here, man. That's such a fucking like uh, uh backhanded when you, <laughs> when you don't laugh, but you're like, oh man, that's funny. <laughs> um, Keon, if you if you tint that just a little bit, it uh, it won't blow you out. What happened? If you if you uh, <laughs> adjusted it just a little bit, because like you had it at an angle, so the light you was piercing. The if you tilted a little bit more, it should be easy. You talking about this? No, the uh, the blinds, the blinds? one blinds. Yeah, the one we that you had. Yeah, no, we didn't want you to go lower, bro. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right. Yeah, I'm in a bubble bath. <laughs> 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 what if he hey, was in the bathtub? Time, huh? What if what if he was in the bathtub having this whole thing? Oh, and he just figured out a way to get a bathtub right next to his bed. That would be the dream. Everybody Love hit that, that like button right now. We already got 738 people in here, man. Hit that like button, man. I want to try to keep the likes near the views, man. That would be amazing if you could do me that one favor. Uh, and we got a couple more people pulling up. We might have a surprise guest. I don't know. You never know how it goes, man. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hit that like button. I see him going up. We have one ten now. Let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get it to to four hundred before seven ten. That shouldn't be difficult. They say, "Where's this shirt?" Ke- Listen, Keon don't hey, ever wear. Are shirt, they new to this? I don't wear shirts. We wear. Yeah. Y'all try to put the whole being drunk thing on him. That's not him. Not wearing shirts, that's Keon. Yeah. To hear, to hear and Jay, if you were built like Keon, would you wear yeah. a shirt? That's what I was, I was just going to say. That's definitely an in shape thing. Yeah. <laughs> I probably would wear a shirt, but I would always have it open. Either either open shirt or no shirt with the jacket Yo, on. The just half show open? Off. You look even better with the half open. Because it's, it's just a teaser. You just it's a mystery. Mystery. <laughs> Now, let me tell you something. If I had, if I had the, the 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 torso of Keon and the V's, oh no shirt, no shirt. If I got the V's and the V's, if I got the V's. I'm never getting married. Uh, I'm investing in Z packs and I'm getting my I'm, I'm getting my tooth tied. <laughs> my wife, my wife told me the other day because uh, we were playing some kind of game show on TV. Uh huh. And it asked your favorite body part, and I was like, I think I like. Uh, I forgot what I said, 
I was like, what's yours? And she was like, arms, the chest, abs, the V. That's it. I said, so my lower body ain't shit. Is what you're telling lower me. Lower body ain't just, shit. They don't give a shit <laughs> about your lower care body. There's the thing though. Some women do. Some women, because I got, I got, I got big legs. I got big calves and I got thighs. I want big calves like so it. bad, bro. Huh? I want big calves so bad. I'm jealous of everybody. Because I never used to wear shorts. I never used to wear shorts. I just recently started wearing shorts. I want to say maybe like two, three years ago, for real, like outside of the house, I would always have on jeans. And uh, the moment I started wearing on shorts on squad cast, people was like, okay, legs. Okay, legs. I was like, yeah. They, they love legs. They love right. legs. That, that's just, it, it insinuates the pickup. <laughs> Ron, <laughs> Ron G wore shorts for his birthday show. And women uh, was like, okay, Ron, because Ron's calves are huge. Yeah. And they was like, okay, Ron, did you play football running back? What's going on? <laughs> His stock That's, shot up from shorts. Who knew? It's always a, a weird thing to, to, to see somebody got big legs when you, you've known them. All, like, you see a spring big legs on somebody, they be like, oh, wait, where the fuck that come from? <laughs> how's, your, how's your cholesterol? Why is your legs that big? <laughs> What's that? What are you drinking there? What's that, Red Stripe? Uh, red Stripe. It's a Jamaican lager. I know. Fire. Yeah, man. I feel I feel judged now if I drink on here. Why, Why? is that? Oh, because you think they're gonna think you're drunk? Everybody, everybody, I've been known as I've been labeled the alcoholic junkie on here. Oh, I was sorry. high once, I was drunk two, three times. What I'm an alcoholic now? Like it just, you know. <laughs> and we have 400, 400 likes, and we only have 707. Let's keep it going, man. Let's, yeah. let's here, here, let me hear. We got 1,000 to uh, 1,100 people watching and less than 500 likes, man. Let's just smash that like button real quick and we're going to get it going. Um, let me yeah, let man. me tweet out. I'll get you like three more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'll take every little bit. You know what I always want to do? I wanted to be a hand model. I always thought I had really nice hands. That's random. Now the next time I what? see you, I got to look at your hands. They're, they're really, look at my nail beds. All they're right. Really nice hands. My nail beds? Nail beds. Beds. The nail bed is this part right here. I know uh, what it is. I'm just no, no. Kenan didn't know. I know what it was. Kenan didn't oh, okay. know. Uh, Kenan didn't know. That's all. Nail beds. You start learning about nail beds when you start grooming, and like the lady would put my cuticle, <laughs> cuticle, she would push my cuticles back. She was like, oh, "You have really nice nail beds." I was like, "Oh, that's what that's called." And since then, nail beds. Like, I'm out here. She, she was the first time I got my cuticles cut. I was like, "You're doing what now?" He's like, it's, it's a cuticle cutter. I'm just gonna. I was like, all right, whatever. That. I, I, I've gotten a pe- I've gotten a, a manicure one time, and it w- was amazing. So I, I mean, I don't knock it. Yeah, I get manicures. I, I was waiting for Hammer and Nail to open back up. I had paused my uh, membership, but Hammer and Nails is a it's a male grooming uh, spa, and it's uh, they have a barber shop there. You can get the wash and all. I don't do all that shit. I just literally go. Oh, that that's too nails. feminine, right there. <laughs> no, it ain't that. It's like I only let one person like cut my hair. Like, oh, and I wash okay. it before I go. Yeah. So, you know, you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's, a, it's a certain relationship with the bar, but you don't really fuck around with that, so. It's it's hilarious how they made sure the male grooming place was like a, a, a masculine name, hammer and nails. It wasn't just like. Hey, you, you see some people feet and you have to take a hammer and nail to it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you and that bitch with a chisel like John Henry with somebody for you. <laughs> but I feel like, I feel like the manicure is overrated. Like pedicures are amazing. But right. every manicure I've gotten, I'm like, all right, that's what's up. You know what it is? It's it's more so for people that don't know. Like some some people don't know how to cut it cut it evenly. They cut back too much, and then they end up looking like they got five thumbs. So it's more so for those people because I could do it, but I'm not going to. Not if I can I can get it done for me. And they like them. They massage the hand and all of that too. Nah, man, let them do yeah. that. But the pedicure though, I'll be I almost married the last chick. I was like, yo, <laughs> this. <laughs> And this how, this how boogie. Massage, I was like, come on. I get this tea tree oil, um, this tea tree oil pedicure where they like uh they put the tea tree oil on your toe and then they soak it and they massage it and then they clip it and then they put your foot in the wax and then they massage it, your calves, and they take your foot out of the wax and they they rub it all in and then they 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 polish it if you want. Like they put a little buff, a little shine on it, you know what I'm talking about? Don't stop, don't stop. I'm almost there. Don't stop. <laughs> 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 I love it though, man. I- I'll be all in it, man. So we're waiting on the ladies. I don't know what the car is, man, but we're gonna get started. Ooh, plural, special guest. 
Yeah, we got we got another one that might pop up in here, man. I always like to have the ladies here in strong numbers doing what they do best, holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Being heard, being recognized, being what present. Time is it? Seven to car. I just got done with dinner. It's probably, you know, seven o'clock. You got the kids and stuff. You're trying to get them situated. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Hey, like, hurry I'm up. I'm late. <laughs> Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Zooming with the Homies. Uh, got some very good friends here today, man. Super excited to have uh, two first-timers on the show. Um, and we're just going to jump right into it. First off, ladies and gentlemen, we have Kenan Baker. This is Tony Baker's youngest brother. Uh, <laughs> everybody just loves to put you in, in Tony's family just because of the last name, Kenan. Bald, same complexion. That's it's. I yeah. I kind of get it, it's, I guess, but it's low key racist. That's that's what it is. It's low key racist. You don't have to get it. It's low. I'll say it for you. You said um, it, but you weren't bald at first. You weren't bald when I first met you. Kenan is a very very funny <laughs> comedian, uh, amazing writer. Uh, he's also the host of a podcast called um, Oh shit um, Animation. Right? We don't we don't say it like that for sure. That's for okay. damn. Sure. I thought y'all do scream on there. They do, they do. We do power up, but we don't go anime. <laughs> what's the what's the difference? What what do you mean? Power up? How do you do it, Kenny? Show us. You're you're a funny dude, to hear. <laughs> Show, us no. Show us, man. You got you got no. the podcast. You got to pl- you got to plug it. What's how do you say it? It's, no, it's called it's called animation. Animation. Uh, and then you know after we say that, we know we just power up as a crew. We just like Dragon Ball Z. Ah, you power up. Let me tell you something. That is I don't get a chance to blurt out much, uh, but on that show, I was blurting out. You know what I'm saying? When they started the show with a power up, you got four grown men on the screen. Ah! I was like, I think I like it here. This is this is somewhere I can come chill at. This, this feels safe, <laughs> strangely. Uh, very funny guy, man. Super excited to have him on the show. Welcome to Zooming with the Homies, Kenan Baker. How are you, sir? Thank you, man. I'm great, man. Just finished eating dinner. My lady made a beautiful salmon uh, burger. I'm mm-hmm. happy. I'm full. Okay, good, man. Yeah, I opened up the camera. Kenan was, <laughs> <laughs> was on, on the last two bites, going ham with it. Uh, next up, man. Very good friend. Toured a number of cities with this brother, man. Larger than life heart and a larger than life personality. And literally is is just big as hell, man. Uh, that ain't big as hell. Jay, how tall are you? Six what? Six eight. Six eight. Like Swing a it. fucking statue, okay? Looks so uncomfortable on planes, bless his heart. Um, we used to we used to travel together and Jay would always go up to the uh the desk and be like, hey, I have a I have a health thing. I don't know about my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> just so he could get that exit row, because, yo, if, if Jay's sitting in the middle seat, let me tell you something. Nobody in that row is going to be comfortable. He's going <laughs> to make sure of that. Uh, but very funny guy, man. Um, never has ever shown me any flaw in his character. Great friend, great writer, and uh, will do what it takes to help change the scene. Jay is one of those people where he recognizes what's going on in the world. Um, he's When he goes on the road, he takes people of color. He does not take white comics. He always books a black comic and go on the road with him. And uh, if you go on his Instagram, you'll see a lot of pictures of him uh, in the Samuel L. Jackson hat. He is uh, very much committed <laughs> to driving a van and wearing Kangos backwards. Ladies and gentlemen, we have J- Big Iris J on the show. What's up, Jay? Uh, what's up? What you Never drinking, backwards. Jay? Never backwards, just forwards on the, on the hats. <laughs> what are you drinking, Jay? Uh, I'm, I'm with my Irish brother to here. Right here. Oh, oh you going in? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm trying yeah, to I'm trying to get. To, I want. I want to to hear to get the sponsorship as much. Oh, as it's already happened. What? Yeah, we got that. Oh, you got it. Yeah, we got that. We got we got the sponsorship. They sent over a shipment of drinks because they do distri- distribution for Hendrix Gin, Glen Livet. Um, tell them what so you said. We got to come by. You said we got to come by your house. <laughs> Come on, man. I, I showed people earlier the bar. The bar is ridiculous. You got to right put now. a shirt on first. Huh? <laughs> Not going up, man. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Let me take it. Let me check out the best tequila I've ever had in my life. This right here. This is straight from Mexico. Um, this right here is so delicious. Like, literally. It's like wine. You have to open it, let it breathe a little bit, let it get its legs, and then 
when you, you put something in your mouth, you're supposed to like swish it around, hold it, and then swallow it, and you can actually taste all the notes, and it has uh, vanilla, chocolate, and some more stuff that I can't read. I, that's because how I know you're a Spanish. professional drinker. Right. You said it has all the notes. Yeah, yeah, it does. Jay, you're not going to make me feel bad because you're in a fitting room at a Burlington Coat Factory. So I just want to remind you of that. Man, I'm, Every I'm in the Phoenix. I mean, I'm, in the, I'm in the little kitchen nook. <laughs> Wait, where are you at, Jay? Get Burlington I'm, uh, I'm in Phoenix, uh, staying at my buddies. I'm house-sitting, basically, right now. All right. Well, don't miss. Don't miss. Um, well, thank you for coming on the show, man. Jay, you also do um, karate, right? You're a black belt? <laughs> it just cracks me up because the martial art default is always karate. Yeah, like, you, you could be like, I, I'm I, you know? I don't know why I didn't say martial arts, but if I can't remember the specific area, I'm just gonna say karate. Karate, karate. Oh, hey. No, yeah, I did. I used to, I used to have a school back in the day, like 15, 20 years ago, which is crazy. Another lifetime. I, I, uh, I studied with two of Bruce Lee's original students up in Seattle, and I did a bunch of other stuff. Long yeah, time. That's crazy. That's crazy to see somebody six eight. 310 pounds oh, God, moving all nimble doing all of this all in your face one foot up he got the pointed toe just doing this in your face it's, it's, it's a sight <laughs> to see ladies side, and Jay, why do you need combat skills let's be honest why <laughs> like why why well, you know you know what's funny is uh if if a person has a mentality that they feel they have to prove themselves by fighting someone what is going to be more impressive if they beat up keenan or if they beat up me so the people will want to try and challenge the biggest dude if that's in their mentality. But I mean, I mean, I've always been able to pretty much avoid, you know, fights. I, I'm, as long as you don't touch me, you can say whatever you want. And I'm, I'd be quicker, I'd be quicker to fight for a friend than I would for myself. You know? That's what's up, man. You're a good person. You're a good guy, Jay. Yeah, man. Fuck all that shit. Next up, we got uh, Keenan. <laughs> I agree. We got Keon, the short, shirtless bandit, um, writer, comedian, father, um, husband, uh, philanthropist, uh, just just all around player, man. This is my dog, man. Um, it's rumored that Keon has never bombed before on stage. Um, um, this rumor not started a, not about a rumor. Six, six years ago, and he has never bombed on stage. It is a sight to see him work in person. Uh, I've never met a comic that never bombed until I met Keon and I was like, oh my God, that was <laughs> just bass in your energies. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's amazing. So super excited, to, <laughs> super excited to have the no shirt bandit on this bitch, Mr. Keon Poli. What's up, Key? Tony started that and it, somehow people started believing it. And I was like, no, that's impossible. We all bomb. <laughs> see, see, you? I, I roll with Keon a lot. So I wrote, I, I featured with Kiana a bunch of times and I've never seen it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah, but you, you got on later when I was already polished and we're doing stuff like you didn't see the early. That's hey, right. yeah. I, I mean, yes. I'll, I'll go to clubs and they'll be like, yeah, last week we, they call him, they call him Never Bomb Keon. Yeah, the I, was like, yep. oh, God, really? I was like, who was your last week? I, you know, No Bomb <laughs> Keon? I was like, oh yeah, I know Keon. No, no, no. It's no bomb Keon. I was like, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had clubs correct me too when I just try to call him Keon. Joking, it was like, man. no, he's no bomb Keon. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of pressure. But I mean, I guess when you've been doing it for like 10 years, it's like, you know. Nine. You say what? The nine. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm sorry. You've been never not bombing for nine years. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I bombed so many times. No, so, man, I don't believe Keon, it. Keon's bomb isn't our bomb. Like Keon is like, he has a, a C set, like a C or C plus set. And it's like, oh, I didn't do as well as I wanted to do. So in my yeah. head, that's a bomb. But the Listen, show, he was fine. And for everybody else, he's like, man, what the fuck is wrong with that crowd? He was like, ah, my dismount wasn't as solid as I wanted it. Nah, to. I, I'll do that. I'll do that sometimes. Like I'll beat myself up over a really good set. But on the bombs, I'll just be like, fuck it. It is. <laughs> Like on the you good, ever, you ever feel yourself bombing and you just like walk yeah. into it? You be like, you know what? Fuck it. If I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out blazing. I'm gonna try all the new shit. Since y'all don't want to give a nigga a chance, usually that yeah. picks you out of the bomb when you be like, you know what? I don't care anymore. Fuck, yeah. dude. I was, I was like, featuring. They be like, that's the stuff I wanted. Oh, you wanted to be cussed out because I hate every one of you. <laughs> like once you start, once you get pissed, then you get out the bomb. Dude, I was, I was speaking right. to Leslie Jones, and I did a joke. That audibly, the whole audience at the same time just went, 
oh, like that. And I was so upset that they were offended by it or whatever the fuck was in their head that I literally paused, looked at the audience and I go, I don't give a fuck. I do not <laughs> give a fuck. And then I finished my set, they hated me. And then Leslie was like, Jay, what happened? I was like, I don't know, Leslie, I'm sorry. She's like, nah, fuck them. That's a good joke. So I was like, all right. You know what's funny is that I know that to be true because Jay has told uh, a crowd full of churchgoers in a church while we were on tour with Kev. I don't give a fuck, fuck y'all, <laughs> fuck y'all. Pass the fucking time. Fuck the don't choir. Put that out there. Fuck the choir. I was like, Jay, Jay, no, 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 no. Fuck you too, to here. Yeah. Fuck your little jackets. Fuck your, your baggage tag. Fuck all of that shit. You're going to be like, I was like, all lives matter. And then I dropped the mic and just walked out. <laughs> say that. Yeah. You always say that. So I know, uh, to here, I'm here. I'm, um, they got me casting for a Marvel movie. I'm putting the finishing touches on it right now. I'm supposed to be the new. Uh, BT, BT, just shut up and just sit down when you can. Be Bishop. Just, just, just shut up and sit down when you can. I'm going to use Keon's shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you already. I get I get so many shoulder jokes like I sit like this to try to keep them in tucked in because people always make fun of them so I'll be like I sit smaller Man, I, wish, I wish I had Keon if Keon didn't give me half of his shoulders he would still have normal people's shoulders let me tell you I remember when I first met Keon and he wasn't working as regularly uh, I met him during the holiday season and he was working at Macy's as um, as racks because they had ran out of rolling racks and so he was just like holding his shoulders like this and they were putting hangers <laughs> on his arm and shoulders. They were paying him forty seven dollars an hour as a human mannequin and a human clothes rack. Forty seven like, an hour, I would gladly be a mannequin. Forty seven <laughs> an hour. You know just... what's crazy? I went to this uh, I went to this party downtown at this club. Uh, I forget the name of it, but the club was like it had see through floors, right? And they had actually had women in the floor laying down, just like doing this in the floor. So they're laying down on that back while you're walking over them, just dancing in this small ass space. And I was just like, who the fuck? What eyes fuck wide shut man? party was you at, bro? Huh? <laughs> I said, what eyes wide shut party was you at? Hey, man, that's why I didn't say the club and I didn't say when it was. <laughs> uh, we just got Dominique in the house. Dominic Lovers in the house, St. Louis original. What's up, Shotty? What up? I just ate some emos. What? How the fuck you get some emos? Emos, for those that don't know, is a St. Louis pizzeria only in St. Louis. So I'm trying to figure out how the fuck you got some emos. Uh, my cousins sent it to us for our birthdays. This was back in February, so I was holding on to this pizza. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You just ate some pizza that you got back in February? <laughs> it's good till January 2021. I looked at the date today. Oh, it was the frozen ones? Yes, it's the frozen ones. Yeah. I thought you had some pizza oh. in the aluminum foil. I was going to call you every type of hood rat that was, that was <laughs> under the sun. Every type of hood rat. I thought somebody had shipped you pizza. You was like, ooh, I'm going to save this for later. Put it in the freezer in a Ziploc bag. <laughs> No, okay, so normally I do do that, though. Like, I'll order a half-baked pizza, and I'll order, like, three of the motherfuckers in, like, freeze them. You have to. The days. Like, you know, Emo's a ship. Emo's a ship the pizza to you, too. Who is trying to pay $80? Shout out to <laughs> Tracy for the $80 shipping. That shipping yeah. is $80. And hey, that is true. That is hella true. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got Dominique Lovins, uh, also known as St. Angeles, on a, uh, on a, on a, on the show. We also have BT Kingsley watching right now. I don't know exactly what he's doing or where the computer is. It looks like we're in a closet. I don't know if he's in his closet out. looking for more shirts that we don't want. Horrible to ass shirts, but this is Zuma with the homies. Uh, it's a fun ass show. It's just me and my friends just talking, catching up and all of that. Um, this show is not behind a paywall. I want you guys to be able to get it raw, unfiltered, just exactly the way that they give it to you. It's going to be a lot of laughs, a lot of gems. All I ask is that you, if you have it, please, please, please take care of my guests. Bless them with a little something. Uh, almost everybody on here, with the exception of Dominique, is uh, a touring comic, and how we make our money is on the road, and right I'm now we're not able to. Comic? I might be a failed comic. Dominique, yeah. favor, shut your ass up. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> At this time, I'm going to ask all my guests to change your name to your cash app. So if the people got something they could bless you with, they can go ahead and do that. I showed uh, up just in time. There it is. Bow. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> BT Kingsley, man. Shout out to BT Kingsley. He uh, just dropped his first episode of his new show, Give Me Five. His uh, subscriptions are constantly going on 
up on YouTube. As you can see, the quarantine ain't holding a real nigga back because he has the fade and the paint back in his hair. He's looking good, looking like that paint, baby. <laughs> see, if I go down, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how white my hair is. It's not great. We we passed. Sorry, gray. what? My hair. <laughs> what do you mean, you people, BT? Yeah, yeah, excuse you. Uh, please don't oh, appreciate it matters, BT. <laughs> the, your excitement on every time I every time I say something white, like, I don't, it's just a little much. It's just a, it's a little much. <laughs> I've been drinking. Forgive me. I got to get on y'all. Awesome. Big Irish J hit me at 4 o'clock and was like, I'm ready for the show and, and sent me a picture of the bottle and a 40-pack of beer, of Guinness beer. It's gone, half gone already. I see. I see. I'm very proud of you. Launch it. <laughs> BT, I just want to say for the record, I hate them shiny ass shorts too. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, but I hate every part of them goddamn shorts. You understand me? Those are some 1999 and one basketball shorts, and I hate them. These make me really, really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Find your opponent. <laughs> they make me really fast. <laughs> No, no, they do not. Uh, Dominique, I see the 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 shimmery background <laughs> that you got. You just did a photo shoot. For those that don't know, go to St. Angeles right now on Instagram and look at the photo shoot she did in the gold dress. She is trying to get her rent paid. Uh, I talked to her a couple uh, last week. I was like, I saw the picture. I was like, you trying to you trying to get your rent paid? She's like, these niggas ain't paying shit. So surprise her tonight with a little gift if you got it. Uh, <laughs> On my way. I'm she on is, my she's way. literally one week away from starting the OnlyFans, guys. So we're trying to help her out so she don't have to start the OnlyFans because her parents are both still alive and we don't want them to have to come across that at, at the church bulletin board. <laughs> Them niggas don't go to church. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, she's starting the OnlyFans? <laughs> you see it, you okay, see it, Jay? Okay. You see it, Jay? Okay. <laughs> Adding to my favorites. What's the, what's the OnlyFans? <laughs> <laughs> let me say that. Let me say that one more time. Let me let me get eyes on this. All right, buddy, yes, yes. sorry, sorry. As Keenan would say, when I hear. Yeah, only fans, huh? All right. She and that bitch looking like a uh, like a hot ass Jada Pinkett. If Jada Pinkett was raised in St. Louis, she would look like Dominique Lovins. That's so funny. Do you know how many times I've been told that? Oh, yeah? Would yeah. you fuck August Alcina? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 All right. I mean, the story he might tell might be worse than Jada Pinkett because I've been known to be a hazard to a couple of men's health. So, I mean, he might kill himself. Hey. I, I I I don't know what's going. On. I don't know if this is a publicity slump because he got an album that just dropped. And no, they've been no. He they've been messing around for years. Like I thought this was no. So well, that's what I, well, here's the thing. I don't know about the whole messing around thing. I know it was alluded to, but I know right, people let sometimes let shit go because of you know the 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 stardom around certain people and the uh, you know the no, taboo around it. But I don't care what they did. You shut your mouth, man. Can we just address that whenever Keon talks shirtless, he's got to rub something for uh, everyone. Hey, let me just say this about this August thing. I, 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 yo, this is what I'm saying. It's like, yo, when you, when you um, now he's flexing. Nice flexing. <laughs> it's like, when you, uh, it's like, I can't even. <laughs> Why are y'all out here? Oh, fuck. How about this dude? And it's like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. No, he should have shut his ass up. Like, he had bro, no. That's, his, his that's whack, thing. bro. That's why. This is the next question that I want to ask to you guys. If you could, if your, your, your spouse's significant others are whatever, allowed you to have an open relationship, what are the most important things that you need in that person? The other Don't person, you know what I'm saying? You're talking about the person we, the outsider? Yeah, the outsider. Oh, the outsider. Outside. <laughs> outside the side of the NDA. I'm not getting embarrassed. Like, I'm not getting embarrassed at all. Yeah, yeah, like, just keep your mouth, like. Yeah, I, I mean, but this just also confirms women's sentiment forever, which is niggas talk more than women. 
So man, this is way this more one, than a guy. Because we, we one might talk right about that one book. girl's about it, but we got you gonna, you gonna act like Superhead didn't write a book. You gonna right. act like that didn't happen? Hey, that's a whole different type of hoe. <laughs> no, that's, like, that's, that's different. She, she got over it. She oh, one of y'all. What the girl that just went to the well? Wait, 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 wait. Try to watch the screen so we're not talking over each other because okay. I know y'all all make a good points. Keenan, I saw you were talking. Keon, you were talking too. I don't want to miss nothing. I want to talk about it, but I want Dominique to always weigh in right now because um, Takara's not here, so she's got to hold it down for the ladies. Yeah, where's Takara? I don't know. She she might be fixing dinner. Is Jackie in here? Because I saw somebody she say Jackie was in the, the, uh, the chat. Do everything. I love Jackie, her. are you still in here? Because if you in here, Jackie, Jackie, you bring your ass in here too. I'll look in the chat. Let me know in the chat if Jackie's <laughs> here because I'm going to send Jackie the link as well. Um, um, go... Dominique, you were saying that you don't want to look like a fool and then Kenan and then Keon. Yeah. I don't want to look like a fool. Wait, am I? Yeah, it's you. I don't want to be embarrassed. So if if I was somebody or when I'm somebody that has like y'all status, because y'all famous, niggas are signing an NBA. <laughs> but you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised like how uncommon that is. Like we're just how like people always get caught up and you would think by now especially men, because y'all just be hoeing. Wow. Well, um, well maybe not you. No, I'd be everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Jay be hoeing. Jay got a, a hilarious baby. It's, it's like, it's like certain things. I, I just feel like- Oh, fuck. We should have signed the NDA and that was it. Because like, that's just yeah. weird. I mean, the I, fact I, that I, he could die and he'd be okay, I'm like, dog, like, I want to fuck Jada Pinkett. <laughs> More than looks, I value discretion. Like, and that's been since high school. I've never been, okay. like, I've never been one of the dudes that was like, yeah, me and the homie finna run a train. Nah, I don't want to see no niggas torso. I don't want to see nobody's belly button. I don't Keon. want nobody knowing what I'm doing. I'm moving the shadows. <laughs> I'm, I'm motherfucking dark green duck out here. Like, I don't, like, I've always been a person that don't like anybody in my business like that's always been my thing even before i got on social media so like that's not something i do uh but Keon, i don't want you to weigh in i was just gonna say because she said you know bt said superhead wrote a whole book and then what's her name what's the the messy ass girl she just out of dave Chappelle. like what's what's yeah. her name she does she I is the love best friend azalea there. banks azalea she banks not well like she, for, for to the broad statement of men talk more is just absolutely ridiculous. Right, like it's, just, it's just a ridiculous thing. A lot of dudes out here is trash, and they be talking, and women be talking, but more is just insane. Like that's just yeah, we don't we don't do it for the how many, how many women? How many women have actually been outed pre Jada? How many women can you name to be outed? We can name hundreds of men lost careers, lost marriages, lost. How many women have actually been outed? Uh oh! I, I've never, I've never in my life seen. I've seen multiple women say, "If another married dude hit me up, I'm gonna put him on blast." I never seen a dude say, "Another married woman hit me up, I'm gonna ruin their family." That's just, <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna need you made this. That's so true. Here's the thing, though. Here, can you see how quiet Jay is? Because Jay in the closet right now, hiding from somebody's husband. I'm fucking hammered, kid. I'm fucking been drinking. Here's the uh, thing, though, and, and and here's the duality of society. If a guy, are you eating? Hold woman, on, BT. Are you eating? You can't fucking not eat for a couple hours while you do it. A couple show. of hours. I, listen, I'm. I'll have good reason after this. I, that's why I keep muting. I don't want y'all hear me smacking in the shit. You fucking pig. Quit eating. <laughs> I'm calling you a fat fuck. Come on, just do the show. Put it on hold for two hours. Have a little respect, you fuck. <laughs> Look at hey. the Boston. The Boston is just slipping out of Jay right now. That bottle has got him wide open. Jay, we got at least two more months before a white man can yell at me. At least two okay. more. Fair enough. I apologize, sir. Black lives matter. All right. I apologize. After that, you get to scream on. But... <laughs> <laughs> valid point. Valid point. Fair enough. I apologize. Um, Jay, drink some water because I, I want feel you drink. the whole time. I feel drinking. I the whole time, so drink some water. Um, <laughs> what I was going to say is that like if the duality of society is that if a man, like if a woman finds out a man was lying about his 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 relationship and he finds out that he was married and all of that, she'll cut it off, right? If a guy found out a woman was married and was like, yo, I'm not doing this. I'm, I'm not that type of guy. I don't know what type of guy you think I am, but what kind of man would I be if I lived unfaithfully 
and started right saying on. all of a mint condition, y'all were like, oh, you a weak mm-hmm. ass, soft ass, bitch ass. Like, we get, like, we can't win in that situation. We either got to see it through or we going to be weak That's as hell. Right. What's up, Takara? Thank you for What's joining up? us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Takara, why would you late? See, I, all of us is on time. Why would you late? See, first of all, normally these meetings were starting at nine, which is much better for me with my kid and situation. Now y'all want to start at seven. And I got Carly Wilson's daughter over here, Chrissy over here. They fighting. I bought them the same shit. I don't understand how they fight now they got the same shit. I bought them the exact same shit and they still fighting over it. They got the same ponies, the same necklace, the same fake jewelry, the same fake makeup. And they fighting over the same you got one of them frizzy fries and the other one got french hold fries. Hold on, hold on, BT, swallow, <laughs> swallow before you start talking. First of all, pause. <laughs> oh, sorry, my bad, BT. Go ahead. No, just pause on Jay and his <laughs> weird ass flirtations. Why Jackie come in like she about to give us all homework? What is, what is happening? Why did you? Hey, talk Jay, about? To, what's up, Jackie? Yeah. Wait, I have to move something. Hold on. <laughs> all about to go to the gym right now. Why did she pop in like this? Oh, Jackie. I invited Jackie because I didn't know if Takara was going to make it, so I wanted to make sure oh, she I, had. I could go. Bye, guys. No, no you Jackie. Stay. Jackie, don't fucking play with me. Don't play with me. Oh, Jackie. I will, I will call you and curse you the fuck out. Once you hear, you hear. <laughs> I am not an understudy. I am Jackie Fat. You book me like everybody else. I do book you, Jackie. You're a regular. You to call CP, you're a fucking regular. Kind of, I'm taking a shit. You're like, hey, what you doing? You want to join it? Hey, listen, just keep it above the neck and nobody will know. <laughs> I'm taking a shit right, I'm doing doing right now. On, Keon, I can't talk to you. I need for you to get dressed. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> when, when do I get dressed on here? When, 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 when is it? <laughs> I mean, that's a fair point. Just because you're you used to being inappropriate here? don't mean it's okay to stay that way. Where's Why your wife? It's inappropriate. It's hot. Where's your wife? I, 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 I have your wife's cell phone number now. We are now close. Jackie, <laughs> the, the wife ain't what you got to worry about. Is big RJ keep biting his lips and look you're looking at you. eating. Shut up and swallow a fucking mouthful <laughs> before you talk. Fuck. Biting his lips. Big RJ, let me see. What's up? What happened? You biting your lips. Let me see. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that ain't, that ain't I'm Jay, Jay, that, man, my cheeks are on fire. My that's the I'm Irish on J level, man. I'll Jay, be right back. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta slow it down. You gotta drink some water, buddy. I need you here for the whole thing. thing. Don't kill it right now. Kill it after the show. What is it? What is he drinking? He's drinking the Tullamore Dew. I bought me some today. I'm gonna try it. Come on, man. Ooh, hey, la, man I, ooh, la, no more. I got the uh, I got, I got the fifteen. <laughs> what are you talking about? I got the batch too. You got what? The 15 year batch too. Just give me some. Why I got the body shit? I mean, you pull yeah, up to the bottom. I got a couple bottles at the crib. I'll pull up as soon as this is over. Don't tempt me. I got a couple bottles at the crib. I like how you looking to make sure ain't nobody else pull up first. Look, 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 look. Oh my God, BT, you animal. Just fucking put your screen off while you're chewing. <laughs> no one wants to see you eat, you fuck. Irish, you hungry? <laughs> no, no, I'm disgusted. Jackie, it is great to see you. I miss you. I haven't seen you forever. It's great to see you. Hi, Jay. Hi. <laughs> not quite, not quite the same energy as I gave to you, but you know that's cool. Oh my I'm like, God. I love you. I miss you. You're like, hey, what's up? Cool. This, this is she out basically, she, Jackie hit you with a new phone. Who this? That's basically. Yeah, what this. <laughs> my my energy is never enough for Jay. He's always like, you're too loud. You're too quiet. I need for you to be more energetic. You, you're too much energy. Fuck you, Jay. You get what you get. Okay. <laughs> Are we even no, on here enough. from women to men? Is it eight and eight? Uh, no, it's three and five, but I, I have somebody else I can bring on to like even. No, no, no. Are, yeah, are, are you Hollywood Squares now? Why there's so many niggas in the show now? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> well, first of all. <laughs> Whatever, Jay, you know where you are. Don't you act like you, you're not that first, now. First of, first of all, uh, I wasn't sure Takara was going to make it, so I wanted to make sure that the ladies were represented. That's why I invited you on as well, Jackie. That's uh, all. Right. She got her slick deck. She got her slick back. Come on she now. Shot, she on her she body lava shit. Here's, here's she the thing, Jackie. Jackie, you know, she got her you magical background. Her Don't do that. She had you know, this. Hold on. Wait a second. She, uh, she I, didn't say she and shit. I didn't say she couldn't hold it down. I just want to make sure she had reinforcements. You know Jay and you know BT. 
Okay, those are two okay. strong ass personalities. You, I just want to make sure y'all was represent. You know what? This is what I'm talking about when I say guys can't win. This is exactly what I'm <laughs> talking about. You want to bust a buzz? That's a little short. Take it easy. Relax. I'm, I'm relax. sick of this shit. Stop I'm sick of your shit, Jackie. You're gonna go into cardiac arrest. You're a heavy drinker. Just take it easy. <laughs> Don't come up. Not a heavy drinker. I just drink. <laughs> you know what's funny? Guys like you who are like, I love to drink. That oh, is... What do you mean, guys like you? Whoa. You no, ain't nobody talking to you, Jay. Don't let me get black on you. Jackie, that's what he's talking about. That's what he wants. I don't that's know if you know this or not, but when I met Big Irish Jay, he had four black girlfriends. Nobody knows what you're saying through the seven mouthfuls and bites that you have in your mouth. Well, they know. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen pictures oh of Jay's God. girl. He likes the mocha. He likes the, the chocolate. I see. Oh, yeah, he definitely do. Jay, won't you tell him what happened in Vegas? <laughs> yeah, what happened in Vegas, Jay? Oh, hey, Jay, hey, don't go. Oh. Jay, they're trying to get they're setting you up right now. They know you're drunk. They're trying to get uh -huh. you to dry system yourself. Don't, don't be August Alcina, all right? I'll tell the story. Tahir, Tahir was in town and uh, wait, Keenan. First, what? I say hi to Keenan. I mean, that would have been cool if I got one of those, but that's cool. Anyway, uh, Tahir. You know why you don't get it? Because you expect it. I don't like when a guy asks for it. Let me give it to you the way I want to give it to you. Give it to me however you want, Jackie. All right. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, Keenan, Keon, what the fuck? All right. make it I heard now. somebody talking about giving it to it and asking. I was like, what did I miss? What did I miss? A shirt. Uh, You're missing a goddamn shirt. I'm never wearing a shirt, Jack. I ain't got no drawers on either. How about that? Oh, <laughs> stop. I, I, you I need a wide angle lens. Stuff. <laughs> uh, to hear, were you at the, the show you were at? Was there a girl that came to that show? And then she, or no, at Brad Garrett's? It no, made. it was it okay. was just uh it was just you me. just heard the story about the so I, yeah, I went out like, like, I had came I had came straight from Top Golf over there because I knew you were performing there so I came there to meet you there and then so, meet the book as well. Uh, I went. Jackie, get your ass off. Jackie, what are you doing? I'm checking my makeup. I I had a Zoom day and I'm shiny and greasy. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I I went out with a transgender woman in oh, Vegas. Oh, uh, that's not where I thought you were going. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't by choice. I'm not that progressive. Uh, uh, we don't so, we don't judge Jay. We love you the way you are. It's okay. You know, white people, y'all do stuff that we just don't know. <laughs> <about ourselves>. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was like, uh, my guys was... are always getting surprised. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Y'all gotta hear the story. Y'all yeah, gotta hear the story. All right, so <laughs> I'm single. I'm on the dating apps. Uh, you know, whatever. Uh, Tinder, Grinder, Black Planet, whatever. Um, so, uh, I, uh, I matched with this girl, she's from New York and, uh, so we're, we're texting and she's like, well, let's call or call me, let's, we should do lunch. So I call her, it's morning. It could be morning voice, you know, that's probably what it is. Oh, she had a deep one. Yeah. So she didn't put it in her profile that she was transgender. It wasn't like I was just searching for trans it's women. Because she wants to be treated like a woman. Shut your ass up. Let him finish the <laughs> Get her, you fucking shirtless, shirtless fucking dynasty. <laughs> All right, so, so uh, she says to me, she's like, "Well, we should, we should do lunch. Let's meet at the Las Vegas Athletic Club." So I was like, "All right, cool." So I, to meet? Okay. I'm sorry, what? Nothing, nothing. Go Don't ahead. listen to Jackie. Just finish the story, Jay. Don't you understand that I'm fucking all. hammered right now, Jackie, and anything you say will fucking get me on another tangent. You're all used right. to being hammered. Don't listen to Jackie. Just go. Just go. Right. Was that an Irish thing? Is that yeah. a fucking, all right, cool. Good enough. That's valid. All right. She didn't, she didn't so she, down at all. <laughs> she says, uh, let's meet at the Las Vegas Athletic Club, obviously not to work out, <laughs> but to meet and then we'll go get lunch, right? So I was like, cool. So I'm pulling up and I call her. I was like, hey, I'm pulling up. She says, I see you. I'll be right over. Now, I'm thinking we were going to meet there. I'm going to follow her to wherever we're going. But she gets out of her car, goes to her passenger side, has a dog, Starts walking towards me, very thin, but just kind of like straight up and down, no curves, right? And I'm all about curves, right? Not edges, ladies. Oh all right, God. so come on. Jack. That wink was trash. That whole thing was trash. Keep going. <laughs> so, uh, so she she walks over. I rolled down my window again, thinking she's just gonna lean in and be like, "Hey, follow me over here." She opens my door and just gets in my car with her fucking dog. And she's right next to me. She's got sunglasses on and I'm looking at her and I'm in my head. I'm like, I'm pretty confident this is a trans woman. Totally cool, but just, you know, it's not my thing. 
Just not my thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get canceled. No just not my thing. Say. Nothing against it. Just not my thing. Oh my so, God. so uh, I she's in the car and I'm looking at her, but she has sunglasses on. So I'm like trying to assess her, but I don't know where she's looking. So I'm doing like the fucking the Terminator thing. I'm like, okay, she's definitely wearing a wig, a lot of makeup, might be something down there. I don't know. So <clears throat> I say to her, I go as she gets in the car. She's like, where do you want to go? And I go, oh, I thought. I thought I was just going to follow you. And her response to that was, oh, you think I'm ugly? <laughs> and I was like, I was like, no, no. I mean, you're very beautiful. And she goes, oh, you don't like dogs. I was like, no, the fuck. What? No, I don't like dicks, <laughs> ma'am. Dude, she, I was like, and she's in my car with the dog. I was like, nah, the dog's cool. This goes on for 20 fucking minutes, Jackie. She's sitting this close to me. And I'm like, I'm like, I thought we were going to take separate cars. You don't think, you, you think I'm ugly? I'm like, no. I just, you know, I thought we were taking seven cards. At one point, she goes, she yells at me. She goes, look at me. I'm thin. I'm not fat. And I was like, okay, that was definitely a shot at me. But that's cool. I can take it. Whatever. That wasn't a shot at you at all. Oh, no, absolutely. I'm fat. I'm like, that's cool. I fucking no, she was here. worried that you thought she was fat. That was her insecurity coming out. No, that was, that was a shot at him, him being that a fatty. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, she was not fat unless she had a fat cock. All right, so I said, what? Was, what did I walk in on? I'm so lost. I went out with a trans woman, Takara, not by the time point. Jay is telling us about the time he sucked off some trans woman. Keep going. First of all, <laughs> you BT, take another no, bite. That's what you was telling us. Keep going. With the story. No, he didn't so, suck her off. She sucked him off, though. So, no, no. I mean, Jay, so so what happened next, Jay? So, what happened did you know they were trans? No, she didn't put it in her profile. But for 20 minutes, I'm like, I thought we were taking separate cars. She's like, you think I'm ugly? No, no. So finally, she's like, okay, you want you want to follow me to? We'll go to Chinatown. I'm like, I'll follow you to fucking China if it'll get you the fuck out of my car. I don't know you. I I was like, I I because she kept escalating, and I'm like, I'm gonna. I don't know if she's gonna pull out a gun and fucking kill me in the <laughs> Las Vegas Athletic Club's parking lot, and then the story will come out. Comedian Big Irish J killed by trans woman at the Las Vegas Athletic Club. And all my comic friends will be like, I fucking knew it! I knew it! I always fucking knew it! Why didn't you get to get out the car yourself? It was it's his my car. fucking car! That's it's maybe my car. that would have been the only way to get rid of her. If you get maybe out of the car. I heard the story, Jackie, if you would have shut your ass up. Shut <laughs> your naked ass up. Let him finish the story. Thank you, you shirtless Adonis. All right, now, so I fucking oh tell God. her. Or she says, follow me. So I was like, cool. So I'm, she gets in her car. I'm following her. She goes through a light. And then I just take a right. And I'm like, goodbye. <laughs> and, then, and then I immediately unmatch her and everything. And I'm talking to one of my comic friends. And he was like, he was like, what if she's the one? And I'm like, she's not the one. I'm like, I, I, I just know me. And he was like, well, what if she's had the surgery full, full vagina? I go, that means nothing to me. Cause I'm like, if I go to a magic show and the magic or the magician makes the rabbit disappear, my mind doesn't just go, oh, that rabbit just never existed. No, all I think about is like, yo, where the fuck is that rabbit, man? Where the fuck did that rabbit go? So that was my uh, that was my uh, fiance story. Listen, I'm just happy you use the proper pronoun. So thank you. Thank you. I do, I do what I can. Hilarious things about the setup. First of all, if there's any trans people listening. That setup is aggressive because it's hard as fuck to get somebody out your car. Hey. <laughs> when somebody's in the fact that, because just uh, imagine it, you in your car, they walk in with a cute puppy and then just don't look at you head on. You can't never really address it like, yo. And then the only response they're giving you is, am I ugly? Make a <laughs> <laughs> and she had sunglasses on, so I don't know where she's looking. You, they just sit in your car and do like this. You're like, you can't, you, <laughs> you don't want to be rude, like, get the fuck out of my car. It's like, what's wrong? Am I ugly? <laughs> <laughs> yes! BT, thank you. <laughs> Listen, I, I, another bike. <laughs> I was in my car arguing with somebody that I had already been with in, 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 high, I mean, in college. And Trans I knew woman? how hard it was to get them out of the car. So I can't even imagine what you were going through, Jay. What were I'm you? not fat. <laughs> what was the question? It was, it was, it was legit terrifying. I'm oh. like, this is how I die. This is how I fucking die in the oh. Las Vegas Athletic Club. <laughs> in the Las Vegas Athletic Club. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Uh oh. Jackie oh, trying to show a little key out. Check him out. I'm like, uh. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no scary, yo. Hey. hey. I'm battling. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me isolate listen, you on the camera, listen. Jackie. Now you know Jackie's at home by herself because look how look how she acting when her boyfriend was sitting in the other room. Hey hey hey! Don't put my business out in the street. It, it was, all, do was look at the episode. It was all on the episode, money. Jackie. Where she Jackie didn't want to talk or nothing. Give money when y'all know somebody got a nigga. To hear, no, yeah, the, the, people, people get extra when they see when they know your spouse or whatever is in the room with you. They get extra extra. To hear, it's like, don't you like anal? I was like, nigga, he is right here. <laughs> <laughs> and then you said, "What you say?" I said, yeah. "I said, with, I said with him, yes, with him." All I kept oh, saying everything back to him. Oh, with oh, man, oh, listen, Jackie, 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 Jackie oh, was funny. So, do you Jackie. not eat all day like the the boys? When when if you know that might go down. Say it again. What? Do you not eat all day if you know you might have sex and there's anal? No, 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 no. I, us I usually don't. I usually space it out, so okay. I so I don't. <laughs> Engage in that right after a hefty meal. Okay. okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. You know, I can hope. Guys, you know, guys like anal. I'm, uh, the guys that I've met, they don't like anal. A lot I'm of, a a lot of, of, a lot of brothers say no, but the ones who say yes are very I'm happy. Okay. I'll yeah, do it. Yeah. I'll do it if requested. I'm a pleaser. I'm like, yes. Oh, you want. Oh, never, you know what I mean, I'll do it. But yeah, that never, is, let me I'm not asking for it. Whenever okay. I've done it, it's been a, it's been my request. It's never been them requesting. Okay. Okay. Now, 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 okay. Hold on. What about eating ass? I have never done that, and but it's, it's been done to me. I haven't done it. Ugh, I'm cool. You I'm, have I'm, done to you? I, not not to me. I've done it. I've, ne oh, I've never. Okay. Don't ever touch my ass. I've never it's done it. I haven't done to me. I've never done near it. my ass. It's roadblock signs, construction cones. There's some gates up. It's a chain with a fence on it. I, I don't guys. There's a sign that ahead. says, do not enter. <laughs> going, going and and in for, the, the for the viewers, for the viewers There's watching, I'm single. Me and the gentleman, we're no longer together. What? Really? Me too, no, Jackie. No. Jackie, I got, a, I got a hot trans woman in Vegas I can set you up with. No, 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 that, I'm here, girl. He's I don't just, even believe he, he was Jackie. toxic, so I, I couldn't. I don't have the same, emotional. Same oh, now nah, he toxic. Oh, all I saw him do was cook for you and wear a chip. Oh, this oh, shit. You have <laughs> baited a motherfucker for the past three months. Now the nigga toxic. You <laughs> toxic. <laughs> every you every find out that they toxic. <laughs> I hate I that goddamn word. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. One second. Keenan is saying something, but I, I can't what? hear his mic. What Keenan, did he say? What'd you say? I said you was the one posting the pictures. Like, yeah, he's the one. He's cooking what? for me. No, 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 no. no. I have he's never, I have never said, said in my life that anybody's the one. Yeah. I don't believe in that. I believe. I, you I said believe I love the meals he cooks for me in this kitchen. And that's okay. What does that have to do with it being over? Who cares? Right. He's if the I got one. A tattoo of his his if I got it, what? He he's just ain't toxic. Y'all just it didn't work out. He no, is no, no, no. toxic. Some people are toxic. BT. He was emotionally abusive. You don't know the fucking story. But I understand VT's frustration because toxic has been overused. Like that's all y'all niggas in here. Like you like, what? Ooh, yeah. Toxic simply means that he was not good for me in the long run. It doesn't mean that anything horrible happened. It means that I kept I kept track of how much I cried, and my <laughs> his job is not to make me cry, it's to make me happy. You you and do, vice or make versa. You cry a lot, Jackie. Maybe, you cry a lot, Jackie. Maybe you should eat toxic, it. toxic mean toxic mean poison. <laughs> It is poison everybody. Yes, BT. Okay. Yes, he that's was poison from my from my soul. He didn't make. So you and so, so okay. So, so let's be okay. Fair. Okay. So the nigga could be kale then. Kale's good for you. He just wasn't good for you. You allergic to kale? Shut BT. the fuck up, BT. The motherfucker oh, no. is toxic. Okay, that's it. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't a stranger. Wait. I've known him for a long time, and we and I, but I wasn't here. Now that I moved back, we tried the date for four months and kept trying and trying and trying and and, and breaking up all the time. Are we talking about I, the I don't date. I don't date like that. You, you shouldn't be breaking out, breaking up over and over again. Yes, you're supposed to work. Look at everybody you're happy. Too. Yes. Wait, 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 Everybody wait. Everybody wait. Everybody wait. Everybody wait. Oh, That's your Wait a second. Wait a second. Also, Jackie, sorry. Jackie, hold on. Jackie, hold on. Hold on. Yes. One second. Yes. Everybody in the comments. Every third or fourth comment is wait. Is the car single now too? The oh. car you out in these streets too? Wait, to um, no, and what city? What streets are we on? Oh. BT, BT, shut the fuck up and let her. BT, take another bite and but shut up. We need to know what streets. Listen, let her talk. Wait, before she's done, I, my last point, and then I'm. Okay, go, Jackie, go. 
the primary problem, if I were to be honest, I know that this helps a lot of women who are watching. Most of our compatibility was exhibited in sex. But yeah. when it wasn't time for sex, we did not get along. Right. That, that, is a, that is a very common problem. People feel like, well, we're so compatible physically. Why can't we be in love? But if you don't work on it when your clothes are on and the day it's the daytime, and if you can't mesh together as friends, you're not going to be together for a long period of time. And I, I, I just, I just cut it, I cut it short instead of going for a year, a year and a half. And I'm like, I'm not happy. What is this fucking Dr. Drew shit? Let's get to more talking about fucking. And okay, then hey, I need for you to go drink some water and fucking sober up. No, okay? I just have. A too la, too yes, la. yes, no shirt. What's up? Why? Why can't things just not work out? Why every that's, time? That's I, the result. Why every time is it? Uh, he was toxic. Why can't it just? Hey, because I'm telling you what happened to me specifically. I don't know what your definition is of overall for most people. Jackie well, Fabulous was involved with a guy who was very attractive. The sex was good, but we did not get along outside of that. We're, we're, we're referring that, to ourselves in the third person now. I got a question. <laughs> so, so yeah. Jackie, the, the, I think the question me and Keanu are asking is, when you say toxic, it puts the responsibility on the other person. The power girl. Like, yeah, I'm telling you that he was bad for me. He, 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 he. No, no, I'm not. I'm not getting closer on the camera. You say toxic. You say toxic. Wait, 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 wait. Y'all got to watch each other. You got to watch each other because y'all want to stick to each other. Y'all going to miss the point. You say toxic. You're not saying that he's bad for you. You're saying he's a bad person. Exactly. No, toxic could just mean that whatever ingredients were in No, no, it doesn't. No, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. What toxic can mean individually, and it can mean overall. No, you when you call him toxic, that means he's shit, and he did something to you instead of y'all just not working out. But he did uh, do something to her. He did it that to me both, did. and he did do something to I'm me. Not, I can't. Do, I have to have oh, wait, a, do I have to have a black eye if y'all be like, you know what, you're right. Can we, can we, oh, wait, wait, can we get back to if Takara is single or not? <laughs> That you is, guys need well, to, you real, guys, real quick, you guys before, act like I need to have a black eye to be like, you know, you know what? He's not no. good for you. We're no, just, I think, I think hold on, wait, real, really quickly, really quickly, really yeah. quickly. And then I, I, I want Keenan to go because Keenan has had a lot of time to jump in here. Yeah. Um, Jack, I, I understand where you're coming from. He was toxic for you. Okay? Yes. Um, I think that where Keenan, I'm sorry, Keon and, and, and BT are coming from, from, are, are from a place of, when that word is tossed around so lightly, it's the same way when rappers be like, yo, this is my bro and shit like that. And like, you don't know this motherfucker. Y'all just did a song together yeah. and you're labeling everybody basically that you do a song <clears throat> with as your bro. So yeah. they're looking at it in the aspect, if you're calling him toxic, you're not saying it's it's an individual case. He was toxic for you guys or your relationship. I think if you had said like the relationship that you guys had was toxic outside of sex, that would have translated better to them versus saying that he was toxic oh. because for him maybe all he wanted was a sexual relationship but he agreed no, no, to he more. wanted all he wanted all that crap but but i don't, I think, that it, I, I don't think that it's okay oh, no. for jackie to express herself yeah. and say jackie is very literate she's very outspoken she knows exactly what she's saying and she knows the context that she's saying it in i think as men you want it to be something else, but this is her experience, her moment. Yeah, exactly. She exactly. should be able to express it the way she wants and doesn't have to say, well, well I guess I meant that because that makes sense to you. No, it's kind of yeah. about yeah. maybe fuck Just make because you, like, Keon, and... Whether understand it or not. Like, whether Just because Keon and BT feel like the word toxic is overly used... I'm sorry. Just because Keon and BT feel like the word toxic is overly used... I'm sorry. Just because Keon and BT think that toxic is used a lot does not mean it does not apply to what I'm explaining it. Yeah. yeah. No, we didn't say wait, that. Wait, 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 Let me get, let me get Dominique and then Kenan go and then y'all could jump in yes, after that. Go ahead, Dominique, what were you saying? Yes, I'm single. Let me just, I don't know. All right, all right, go ahead, Dominique. Finally, I've been waiting. Wait, 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 Dominique and then Kenan. Yes. Okay, so just because it's something that you guys might not relate to or like he said that you guys feel like it's thrown around, you guys are taking away from Jackie. That is her experience and her feelings are valid. So stop doing that to people. Like that happens all the time. Like we just went through this last week with the whole J. Cole thing and how he was like, you was coming at me talking crazy, talking at me instead of like coddling me and teaching me like a toddler. No, her feelings are valid. Like whether you like it or not, whether you like how she worded it, that's her experience. <clears throat> okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna get to Keon next. Keenan yeah. and then Keon, just remember your thought. Okay. It's, it's not going away. 
Okay. <laughs> I think there's a bunch of things, right? I think when I think when they're saying like he's saying he's toxic, it's like it's putting the full blame on him. And so there's no like what happened between y'all. And I, I think I think at that point there needs to be uh, at least when you say that publicly, especially in putting that person on like on the chopping block, is like all right. Where is there accountability? I think at some point for for both people. So I don't, I, I I mean me personally, when you say he's toxic, it's putting the full blame on him. And then there's no all right, maybe Keenan, something might happen to one. Sometimes maybe all be you. Sometimes it's all of the blame is can you. be on one person. Well, and I think I, I think maybe too. I, if, what, and, look, and the words, I think maybe the words, that, I think they're like yo. What if I what, say the words? What, what I said the words. He he is or was emotionally abusive that should be enough to negate whatever it is you want to debate me about that is those are f fucking powerful words and and emotionally abusive and act and how does how do y'all know that that won't lead to physically Definitely. i'm telling you that he was emotionally abusive very moody no mm -hmm. warning where and he's five <laughs> times my size i got out before i couldn't understand what was going on anymore no, it was him. I, it I, was I, all I, 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 him. I got, I got confused. He, he on it, then we're going we gonna to switch up the topic. I got confused because, one, we asked the question first. Yes. We asked, what does toxic mean? What is that? So that first, we were like, well, okay, what is the definition of toxic? Then you said, well, it was both of us, and then you said it him. So that's why I got confused. We asked the question first. That's what we did the first. We didn't make any judgment. We asked a question, what is toxic? <laughs> one of one of the symptoms to our sickness was that both of us were very compatible sexually, but then when we weren't, when we, when he and I were not intimate, he became emotionally abusive in just regular everyday life, where I didn't like being around him for a weekend more than a night. If I can't hang out with you more than a night for lovemaking, over and over and over again, you can't be a couple. Okay. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think well, I think sometimes as as guys, like, cause we we think we're living like we're everything living this like it's normal. We don't understand what what is considered toxic to you, or it's like emotionally abusive. It's like once you stated that, like he would like just go off on you for no reason. Once once a girl no, drops the word abusive, you ain't gotta understand shit. Well, wait, wait, a second, a wait, wait. If somebody's asking you questions to get clarification, explain it, cause what? we're trying to empathize. We're trying to understand. Sometimes, but you sometimes say, you ain't gotta understand shit. That doesn't help anybody. Sometimes men just need to hear trigger words to be like, oh, all right, and then walk off. No, and the word we, abusive we said, is one of them. The reason why we asked was for clarification, cause I'm on your side, hundred percent. You, I don't and, think so. You ain't got on no shirt. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't think see that. No I want to say that. Like, damn shirt on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Exactly. Everybody, calm down real quick. Cause I, I BT, I want to get you, but I also want to move on. I, I just want to say this. I need to hear what Takara says. I, I, I will. Me um, too. From, from the guy's standpoint, from what Keon was saying, yes, him asking the question might not have necessarily been for him. It may be for a guy that is watching and has heard that he's emotionally abusive, but he doesn't understand the error of his ways. I can tell so you. That, clar that clarification yeah. <laughs> can help him. That clarification can help him because here's the thing, like most of the people on here with the exception of Jay uh, and, and maybe now Takara and you. Don't are, do that. Are, Don't are, single us out. Goddamn. Damn. Shit. <laughs> with the with the exception of Takara and Jay and, and, and you, Jackie, and you now. are involved in something. So I mean, if, me and Takara for, for the single talk. people, for the single people here and the single people watching, like okay. these these questions can help them in their future relationship. You're right. So I think that correct. I think when they're asking questions, it may not necessarily be beneficial for them, but it's beneficial <clears> for the person who may because like you know how it is your parents would tell you something, but you don't listen to it because that's your parent, but your friend would tell you something or somebody you look up to or say you something and it translates to you because it's coming from a different direction. Right. So that clarification isn't necessarily disputing or ignoring your feelings toward that situation is more of an understanding and that understanding could be helpful to somebody else that's watching right now we got three thousand people watching and at least a thousand of them are guys and at least out of that thousand probably 400 have been called emotionally abusive so right. that word could help them in that situation right and I that's all i'm gonna say so to car go to cargo, and then we're gonna switch up the topic. I, I, I want I dip, to hear after to cargo. Please let me make this one. Yes. Okay. okay. That was toxic. That was toxic, BT. Yeah. So <laughs> I, have, I, I, am, I am single, 
Um, I think I reached out to Jackie a while ago in regards to the situation with the person I was dealing with, something that she did, which I did consider emotionally abusive. Um, emotional abuse is anything that ties your emotions into it. It's not being able to communicate effectively. If you and your spouse have a situation that happens and you shut down or unplug, you're not communicating effectively. That is a form of emotional abuse. Um, a, a quick blow up at a second. Hey, what's wrong? Don't talk to me right now. That's considered uh, him, emotional him, abuse. Him, him. Blocking yep. someone, uh, unplugging from someone. Um, uh, uh, I've had somebody hang up the phone in my face. That's a form of emotional abuse. Blocking me, that's a form of emotional abuse. Not wanting to talk to me, not wanting to talk about a problem. You are in you are emotionally abusing someone in that way so and then, and then a you lot come of men, back a lot of men who are like well what does it mean to be emotionally abusive a lot of men have a hard time effectively communicating to their spouse and when they don't when they when they shut down or blow up or have emotional roller coasters and then come at you in a day or two like nothing happened that, that's a that, problem. that that'll make you insane I'm done. Yeah. All right, wait, 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 that speaks more to the side of how guys need to work on communication. And that's not nothing, that's not something that you shouldn't necessarily be ashamed of because yeah. we're not raised that way. We're raised to be strong. Don't talk, yeah. don't cry. You can't do all of that type of stuff. And if you were raised your whole life, Jay, I know your father was a football player. He played for the, the Patriots, right? Yes. So I'm sure he was like, he's like, you don't cry. You get up. You're a big boy. You yeah. keep going. You keep tackling and, and all of that. I'm sure you experienced some of that. So unless you had somebody in your life to express and and <laughs> highlight how, I just important start crying. Is, how, <laughs> how important communication is, then it, it, it's, it's foreign to you. Damn. But before we before we get on another tangent, I want BT to Can go, I and then I got that? another question oh, for, for, the, for the whole group. Real quick, uh, Takara, Jackie, Angel, y'all know I love y'all. Shut up. Uh, yeah. Here we go. <laughs> no, no, no. I, and I know, especially uh, the comics like, Women, you guys are really clear in the way that you communicate and how you feel and emotionally how you express stuff, right? So understand that uh, I think what's happening, I know with me and Keon is like, it's the, cause we've had conversations outside of this is just like the perspective of uh, alpha, right? Like if you're a real man, you've been in a situation where you went to it, you dealt with a woman and you can be really clear and honest the whole way. Now, when she's decided that she's emotionally done with you, the blame is all on you. She comes up with whatever way she wants to, to attack you and say, you didn't do this, this is that. And as a man, you know what you do? You say, all right, I understand you heal it. And you just take that on. You just take, or you could have told her, Hey, this ain't what we doing. Dot, 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 dot. And you just take on that brunt. So when it, so when anytime I hear a direct attack to a man, it's never, I, I Jackie, I know you, I know you're crystal clear about what's happening, but it's me talking to, my sister like, all right, well, clearly what's happened? Well, this is what he might have been dealing with. The nigga's probably not good for you. Clearly me and you should be together. But like, you, Byron. I, but I, I just know that as a man, I've taken on the brunt of, I did all this shit wrong to you and I'm all fucked up, even though I know I didn't do it. And I just carry that, that on my back. Like, all right, nigga, I did that. You know what I'm saying? So that's what happens when you that, say, not, oh, he's got That's not what I was saying at all, because I believe oh, wait, that. Wait. Wait. That's not what I'm saying. Yeah. Let, me, let me just say this. Let me just say this. Because that's no. not what I'm saying. Okay, go ahead. I agree with Jackie. All I was doing was asking a question. As I get, no, I get older, it. as I grow, I, I ask it. questions to get clarification yeah. so that I understand. And that's what I, was I just want to know what a real man is, okay? Because what well, his, his okay, wait. Oh, wait. You want me to text wait, you? Wait, the last? I want my last button. My last button, and I'm done. You gotta oh, say you love me first. You can't. I love you, BT. I, I almost cursed you off just now. What you guys were seeing when I was posting the, the pictures of the food and all of that was part of his way of manipulating where he thought if he did all that after we had a big emotional whatever, that sex and cooking and all that is great. But he was he's too he, he was too much of an emotional roller coaster and the things he thought were what you need to do to keep people together, he doesn't understand that that's not enough. Gotcha. And and yeah. that 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 lasted for four months. Okay, I'm done. It sound toxic. Here? I want. I want. I just want to clarify. I was just asking a question. I just. I just right. Let's, 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 let's move on. Um, let's, somebody, let's move on. Somebody asked, "Why am I single?" 
Um, I'm not gonna get into calling nobody toxic or anything like that. I will say that I haven't uh, it's a girl. seen this girl in a couple it months. Doesn't make a difference, BT. Don't let me it hang up. It doesn't matter. You. She is toxic, but I don't want to be the one to be like you're bad. But we had a conversation. She owns up to her stuff. I own up to my stuff. I'm single. I haven't seen her in months, but I'm single because. Um, a real motherfucker hugged me. A man hugged me. God damn, this motherfucker hugged me. I have. <laughs> Jackie, when I tell you he hugged me in a way that I was like, why y'all let me date this bitch? Why y'all let me do this? Why y'all let me go there? This Come on home, the car, yeah. Oh, it, 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 back home. Home. it ain't it ain't home if you're not happy, BT. This go to hell. Man hugged me, honey. I whew, um it ain't been the same. And I, I looked at my cousin. I said, why you let me date this bitch? If, you know, this man. It's Somebody me asked here. back. Somebody well, asked my lipstick. The car led you back. My, um, my lipstick it was, a, is... it was a simple hug. It was a gesture of, come here, let me hug you. And I went on like a date and he hugged me. But I smelt right. This is my favorite part of a man. I love it's when they good. have a, a hint of cologne right there. Yeah. Because we just lost August Alcina to the lesbians. I so ain't been... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm about at this point. Here? You are here. This is an idiot. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. This is let a me, business me, question. Here, this is for your people. I don't. Wait, 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 Jackie. Wait, wait. You can, Somebody you can put it in the my... chat. You can put no. it in the chat. All right. You can put it in the chat, Jackie. <laughs> I reevaluate Listen, my whole life. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I just saw a comment that said, "To here can't control these women." It ain't my job to control these women. It's my job to control the communication. And who said that? Who said that? Who said it? it doesn't matter. Who here, said it. It here. It you let these queens talk. Here's the, the thing. Cat. Here's the thing. That's not my job. <laughs> Women are always getting told to be quiet, and they're always getting ignored, and their opinions and views are never voiced on a platform that it really should be. So it's not my job to control these women, as you so eloquently put it. Jay, you have a fucking problem. That's my really job crazy. is to keep okay. the conversation going, okay. but also respect everybody's opinion and allow them to get it out. So don't, don't, don't do that. Don't try to and, do it like that. And, and I wanted to say Moving real quick. On. I, wanted, I wanted to say real quick to Takara. Thank you for clarifying those things about uh, emotional uh, abuse because right. I didn't know like, even blocking, like blocking somebody and doing all those things. I would never like everybody over blocking and over people. and over again. That's yeah, abuse. Breaking up every every other day, you breaking up, it's toxic, it's terrible. Toxic. And, somebody, and somebody in the comments said, if every time you get out of a relationship, it's toxic, it's gotta be you. But sometimes they say you're the bad person, but sometimes you're the great person. Like even with Jackie and myself and, and even just men and women in this chat and people that are online, when you recognize what's bad, and you know what talk, not just toxic, just a bad relationship is, you don't waste your time in there. You get out as soon as you realize it's not okay. So some Absolutely. people be like, maybe you're wrong, but maybe I'm right. I'm not at the age of my life where I want to continue to entertain someone that I know is toxic. And it's almost 3,000 people on this live right now. And some of them are in terrible, toxic relationships yeah. right at this moment. It's not supposed and to be hard. Walk away. You shouldn't, so, you shouldn't. You shouldn't ignore. It's anyone. not that I'm wrong. I'm right. I know what. I know what a bad. I know somebody. If you tell somebody, don't hang up the phone on me and don't block me. That bothers me. That makes me feel away. And that's the first thing that they do when they get upset. That's a toxic yeah. ass person. You should so, feel good most of the time. I mean, I don't. Is that an unusual way to, to think of relationships? No, no you should feel good. good. No, I agree. No, 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 but time. I will say. I will say that. When you're in a relationship or a marriage or a long-term relationship, there is, I think people have this misconception that when you get married, everything is perfect. And it's mm -hmm. not. Like everything takes work. You don't get better at something by putting it on cruise control. Not as a comedian, not as a CEO, not as a, a manager at a fast food restaurant, whatever it take, whatever you're doing, whatever is important in your life is going to take work. So please don't think that just because you're in a long-term relationship, it's just going to work itself out. You have to communicate. Communication, finances, and sex are the main three reasons that relationships and marriages fail. Absolutely. You have to work at that shit constantly. You have to get up every day and decide that this is something that you want to invest in, something that you want to show enthusiasm about, and work toward making better every day. It's not something that you put on cruise control or walk away from. You, it takes work. It's simple as that. Kian? I'm just piggybacking on Keenan and I'm out. I'm not out of this, but I'm just saying. I agree with Keenan and I want to say thank you to Takara and Jackie. Thank you, guys. I'm asking a question for clarification and growth. I wasn't dismissing your feelings. I wasn't. You, you know, decided to not wear a shirt. You dismissed all of my feelings. You know, you're getting <laughs> feelings looking at it. But, <laughs> but, 
what I wanted to say was like I, I what, as we grew, we just we asked some questions because <laughs> I didn't get it. So you explained it. Now I got it. I was I was legit asking the question, not dismissing feelings, not trying to you know talk over you. Not, I just I honestly wanted to know. All right, I next you up, and your, you and your are, we, are, we cele- are we celebrating the second Juneteenth on Saturday? Yeah, why, why, why are we, we doing, doing Juneteenth again? Are we running that shit back? What's going on? Why are oh, we doing that? Why? And his people. I mean, we eating, but uh, I mean, we're not going to do a, it's not our Independence Day, bro. If y'all not doing nothing here, I'm having a game barbecue. Y'all ain't doing nothing. A word? Yeah. Oh, wait. It, we, it's, it's not time here. to get together. Mm-hmm. It's, Girl, not, it's, not, gonna be, too, it's right? not gonna be ten people. It's gonna be like six people. It's still well, Jay Phillips got the Rona. Does, Does he? he? Yep. Oh, was he? Was he out on? Uh, was he out with DL? He, with was, DL? he was DL. He went to play golf over the weekend. He's been living a, his best life. Nobody barbecue. Stay your ass at home. I'm barbecuing in my house. In my house. my brother's house. We driving. We leaving Friday. Are you at Chicago? We're going to a barbecue. All right. All right. All right, guys. Do your thing. I'm I'm not, I'm, not engaging, I'm not engaging in big groups like that. I'm still I'm still very hesitant with uh with everything going on, especially like like now they're closing stuff back up. All of these things that are too is, early. Is fucked up. Yeah, California is closing all the restaurants, they're closing yeah. all the bars back, all they, the libraries, all of that shit is closing back up. They say but we close the movie theaters. I'm like, they ain't been open. But not you know here. Where this came in, from, other, right? in, other, in other cities they were. But you know where this came from, right? This came from, and I'm not knocking it. I'm for everybody, you know, participating in the way that they can. But everybody were out. Everybody was out protesting in the streets. Wait, wait, so, wait. No. They, they, they disputed that. They said they it was said not the protest did not spike it up. It was not from that. It was like from people still gathering at their homes, like big Wed- Weddings, small- parties, yeah. get-togethers, all that. I don't believe the news. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You have, oh, yeah. people, you, have thousands, you have thousands of people on one city block. I refuse to believe yeah, we're, here we're, here here. we're not it's going a- home, performing normal activities, seeing their family, seeing their friends after being around thousands of other people on one city block. Getting tear gas so they got to take their mask off Thank and cough on each other. You get well, here's, here's, the thing, like, here's the thing, though. You guys have all seen the, you've all seen the meme that shows your risk when you're talking to somebody and you don't have on a mask, that person doesn't have a mask. You're seeing the risk when you have on a mask and that person doesn't have on a mask and you've seen the, 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 the possibility of catching it uh, when both of you guys have on a mask. A lot of times at these protests, people had on masks because they knew, one, COVID was still around and two, that they, they were possibly yeah. going to get tear gas. But when you're at your friend's house or when you're at a restaurant, because I've been to a restaurant to pick up food. When you're sitting at the table, you don't have you don't to have the mask, mask on. Yeah. You only have to have the mask on when you're walking around, like going to the restroom or something like that. And people right. are at these restaurants. People are at, at these bars. People I, I, are- I'm people. I'm people. You spelled Takara wrong. Um, <laughs> you got- <laughs> and, and they wearing the mask like this. Yeah, they yeah. got the nose covered up and all of that and type I think of stuff. That at, whenever they do decide to open things back up, regardless of when it is, it's going to be a spike. It's going to happen. It's it's inevitable for there to be a spike. They could open the country back up in six months. When you open the country back up in six months, there's going to be a spike. When you open the country back up in six months. <laughs> so wait, let me ask you this. Are you fucking Keon is uh, buzzing for his fucking <laughs> Tinder profile. What are you doing, Keon? Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> Shoulder shot? <laughs> oh, are y'all are you taking the vaccine? I'm sorry, what? Oh, no. Are you gonna, gonna take the vaccine when it come out? Nope. I'm pr- I need, I think I had it. I need to get tested. I'm pretty sure I had it. I, I'm one of them people that be like, I had it three times last year. I was sick for months. I canceled road gigs and you don't cancel road gigs. I was that's, that's where the most money is on road gigs. Yeah, yeah I canceled Going it. back though, no, June, 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 Juneteenth should be a national holiday, without Thank a you. doubt. And I agree. Fourth of July can be its own thing and cool and everything. But Juneteenth, one, I posted a video about this. Juneteenth should one hundred percent be a fucking. It's an American holiday. It should be one hundred percent a national holiday, without doubt. It shouldn't be even questioned. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, Takara. Who's that saying hello? <laughs> you know what? You, you know what? I agree. I've, 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 go ahead, B. Go ahead, BT. This the uh Juneteenth and like it the is. civil rights stuff. That's the only war this country don't celebrate. 
Because yeah. America yeah. like winning wars. Like we'd be like, we did it. <laughs> like we like winning. It's the one war they'd be like, I mean, don't talk and about Vietnam. That. Vietnam's yeah. like, I mean, you know, we fucking we yeah. did all right. <laughs> we did all right. <laughs> Go ahead, T. Yeah, what are you um, using? You looking real sassy over there. Thank you. This is why, sassy. Thank you. I don't know. You got this out right here, this little dent right here. Where your wife? I can't I can't live like this. Oh. Pull up. <laughs> yeah, she ain't talking about you. <laughs> I'm taking anything I can get. I was about well, to listen. take my shirt off, then I realized I didn't have a wife beater on. I was like, back out of that. Abort mission. <laughs> I know, I know. Just, just, just for, just for shits, just for shits and giggles. Uh, let's, let's, let's get a tally real quick. Keon's married. I'm married. Keenan's in a relationship. Big Irish J is in these streets. BT, uh, BT, <laughs> BT is is complicated with BT. You don't know what he's right. Got Always, going baby, it's been complicated. He's in a relationship, for, right? Uh, um, Jackie is single. Takar is single. Dominique, the, it's the, tussling. The, huh? It's tussling. What is what the fuck does tussling mean? Exactly. Sometimes she fuck with somebody and sometimes she don't. That's all. Well, shit, that, I'm tussling too. <laughs> I'm going you toxic. I put it in a request to watch. I put in a request, to watch. Yes. I put, I put in a request to watch Keon and his wife, but he keeps saying no. Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jackie. Keon, like, well, <laughs> since we went down that lane, Keon, have you ever had an audience? Uh, nah, but I mean, you gotta. <laughs> Are you good job, right? sir? Good you job, sir. And all of a sudden, you can't speak. That was my brother right there. My wife answers all these questions. Any woman who wants it, hit her up. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Kian, I love you, brother. If I never told you before, man. Ah, oh, <laughs> Kian. Well, here's the thing, Kian. Kian. Here's the thing. I'm not just talking about with, with your wife. Have you ever in your sexual escapades oh. had an audience? Oh, yeah. <laughs> multiple times. Yeah. yeah. Multiple times. Yeah. Because you, like co- you went to college in Montana, so it's only like one movie theater in the whole state. So I guess yeah. outside of that. Montana, the Bay Area. Yeah. If you in there, if I'm going, you walk in. I ain't stopping. So it is what it is. You're just going to have to see some things. That's just what it is. I'm already in mode. I can't break my mode. I'm already, I'm. You can't I'm waste the condom. Can can't waste the condom. I get it. I don't like the fact that you're talking about condoms. I was like, what if condoms come up? I have children. John, I don't like the fact that your wife is. I respect that, Keon, because I, I definitely can't. I definitely can't do an audience, man. I I, I, I go immediately yeah. fast it quickly. Just. No. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Takara, you said what now? You said you respect the fact that what? I don't like the fact that uh, oh. Keon's wife did the face thing, and I was at the party with her, and um, and she looked exactly like him. Um, it freaked me the fuck oh, out. Oh, and the face swap that. thing. Yes, and they had me do it. They said, "Come on, Takara, take a picture with us." I get in the picture and pose. I got a full fucking beard, and I said, "Why y'all playing like this?" <laughs> I was about to go holler at this nigga. I was gonna say, "Hey yo, man, you looking real good over there." Um, I wouldn't participate, Keon. I, I was sitting in the corner with popcorn. I don't want to touch you where you are. I just want to watch. I second that motion. Oh, yeah, George, you should charge, man. <laughs> Put it on we, are together. we are single. Let's yeah. let us in. Yes. Yeah. Let me into yeah, put it on only yeah. yeah. Are you down with this? You tender both husband? have her number. Y'all call her. Oh, shit. The fact that you're so open about this, I'm going Y'all to go ahead and take her this. Her is the best answer ever. I love this thing. Keon thinks I'm playing around. I am not joking. Let me tell uh, Somebody, somebody, have, somebody shot cool. they shot today. Somebody shot they shot today. I don't All give a fuck who that person is. I'm talking about me. And we was like, we saw them though. We was like, Nah, we we look at us and look at you like like you know like let's not you guys. I will, I will make I will make Keon. your family a nice big banana pudding and then I'll Wait, sit in the corner. Banana pudding, you just lost right there. That's banana Yo, pudding. Oh, I forgot. It's toxic. <laughs> banana pudding is toxic. I forgot oh, you don't make okay. bananas. Wait, I want another chance. Another chance. What? What? Uh, peach cobbler? You like peach cobbler? Listen. I can make an upside down pineapple cake. We can hey, I got an upside together. down pineapple cake and in the refrigerator right now. Uh-huh. They don't want to uh, have seven Asian. people watching us. Yes, Man, yes, that shit is fire. It is fire. We'll go, we'll go live on YouTube. Well, save my, no, save no, my no, bottle no, to no, here no, and, no, and, no, and no, slice no, it. Okay, okay. I'm going to tell you an um, amazing story. Um, So one time, what? Me, and the young, me and the young lady had been getting it in. Give, you know, I was giving her the beats, right? First um, of all, what? 
I know. Can you be, be a man and talk in normal language? I was giving her the beat. Okay, we were we was I was smashing and dashing. This is what we did. Our, our it was all sexual, whatever, whatever. And um, <laughs> and fast forward to one of her homegirls, literally watched us have like a full session while her while the girl was blindfolded and gave directions. It was. What's the point of being blindfolded? Fantastic. So okay, so so Jackie, me and you. Oh, you're I'm, the girl. Your partner was blindfolded. So Jackie, I'm giving you the beats, right? Angela's is your best friend, right? She's yeah. there and she's involved, but she's not touching anybody. You're yeah. just blindfolded, and she's like, "Okay, lick her here. Okay, you do this to him." And she brought, she was bringing in shit and put it on. It was a that's, good. That's, that's, she was a playmaker. That's 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 like a playmaker. playmaker. It was uh, all right. Y'all change positions. All right, she dude. Was a, she was a quarterback in y'all sexual escapade. <laughs> She's the director. She was when like, I tell you, she the coach. When I tell you it was a good time, I was like, that was that was good time. Was Bill Belichick out there. Yeah, Here's man. The thing. Dominique is being it. hella quiet, and I feel like she's the freakiest one in the group. I already asked Keon. He said he will have butt play, and I was like, let me peg you, and then y'all act like y'all didn't hear me say that. See? I we did hear that. We, we didn't hear you say I that. I heard you say that, Dominique. Thank you. I was, I was like, okay, so all right. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Dominique, right. let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Have you pegged somebody before? What does that mean? What does that I mean? mean? What's that that means somebody face? fucked a dude with a dildo, Jackie. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jackie, you need to get familiar first... with Urban Dictionary. He hung up there with his fucking stripper hat. I mean, he said it. He said he wanted butt play. So I said, I got you. You know what's funny? This the, the last toxic guy. I tried to ease my finger while he was, and he he moved my hand away real slow. That's a no. Oh my bad. No, that, that, no. Like I almost punched a girl in the forehead for that one time. There's a comic. I don't know who the comic is, but he was hitting me up from a fake number. And he would see me out at comedy clubs. Even if even if I did like an open mic, he would be there and he would always text me and he was offering me two thousand dollars to peg him for an hour. And so I did you get two thousand dollars? Was he a white no, comic? I did it. I did it. I don't know what comic he was. I can't say the name because I put his number in WhatsApp and the comic's name came up. And I was like, oh, ooh. Because I think people don't realize that their numbers are linked to WhatsApp. So <laughs> I, I would fuck WhatsApp a dude with a plug them. for 2000 And his name, when right. his name popped up, and I asked, I'm like, are you this person? And he's like, no. And I'm like, I don't know. I put your number in a WhatsApp, and it pop your information popped up. Is he cute? And it's like, no, I'm, I can't tell you who it is because we all I know him. Is, is he cute? Is, That's is, no, he's not cute. He's not attractive. Okay. Is he okay. a white comedian? Fucking well, he's not white. Him. He's black. Is his, no. name big, is his name Big Irish? No. Because <laughs> I hear a lot of white guys. playing with you, Jay. I know you like real, real dicks with uh, the transgenders. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was black. He was black. He was a well-known comedian. He is a well-known comedian. If I mention him, you will all know him. And when I look at him now, I'd be like, ha. You know what's crazy, Takara? I feel like if you gave me three chances, I could I could figure it out. Three chances. I ain't gonna do it on here, obviously. Yeah. But I'll text you three names and you just yeah. let me know. Yeah, if you tell me where he performs what at. In the fuck are you doing New York. New York, New York based. One, he's New York based. And two, I figured it out because I would only hear from him when he was in LA. Ooh, I'm, ooh, I have I know a question that though. What yeah. was his plan? Let's say you was like, yeah, I'm down. Was his plan to show up without his face? Like you gonna wear a mask. Regardless. <laughs> He was gonna wear a mask the whole time. Yeah, like what was what was his what was his plan after? And he even offered to buy the the, the strap on, and I pick it up at the sex store, and then meet him at a hotel. I was like, no, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. What happened to just good old vagina? Like some what happened? What happened to vagina? Vagina's cool. All right, all right, all right, guys, all right, guys, all right, guys. Enough about Tommy Davidson. That's who I thought it was. When I tell you who it is, if I tell you who it is to hear, you're gonna be like, get the fuck out of here. Tommy's not. Tommy's not New York based. I promise you, I won't. I promise you, I won't. I promise you, I won't. But moving on, man. 
Somebody said Steve Harvey, Corey Holcomb, Tommy Davis. Wow, <laughs> niggas is wild. Those guys are not New York based. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it. Anyway, uh, Wait, Dominic, you... Wait, what was you about yeah. to say? No, go ahead, Don. Go ahead. Well, I was going to tell y'all a quick story real quick. I didn't... Come on. I didn't peg him, peg him. Okay, so it was this dude I was dating, and then it was like word on the street. He could have been like a little, I don't know, you know, gay. Everywhere, yeah. So, uh, you can be so my best cool. friend, my best friend who is gay, was like, oh, you should try to put your finger in his ass and see what he do. And I was like, oh, okay. okay. He was like, well, see if he clenched or if he like kind of took a little That's bit. That's a weird thing. I know. Well, the, so I, I, know. I, I guess I'll stick my finger in his ass. I mean, so I was like, I right, cool. Hey. So, um, so we should Wait, he, see if he, he do what? Two. Um, two. 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 The fact that you did it like that, see if he clinched or see if he like. I'm going to show you how I do it. They go so left. I, right so I, I might be going at it on top or whatever. And then I'm like kind of wiggling my finger like. And then I just go in. And when I tell y'all that nigga flew into the closet, <laughs> it was like. Did you ever get out of the closet? What would you do? All my life I had to fight. He turned into full silly from color purple. There you go. <laughs> Well, that there's your answer. There's your answer. There's your answer. Then, which leads me here, because a couple weeks ago, the, I was yeah engaging in activities. And what the person knew that I wanted to like peg a dude and like literally oh, you my want to. And was like you want that's to. what you want. That's what you want to do. And I was like, okay, yeah, that's what I want. This you tried to put it on you. I have a question. I'm gonna let you do it since that's what you want. <laughs> I have, I have yeah, a question. So, let I me question too. So, like, right. I, have two, I have a question. Yes, sir. Why, why, why do you want to do that? Why, why is that a <laughs> one? Thank you. Dominant. Thank you, Keon. Dominant. It's a whole yeah, thing. I, I, I want to see you weak. I want to be the dominant one. I want to control it. Like, but you can just be a dominatrix. Listen, listen, real quick. Keon, I want you to go. I want you to take a question, but like, literally, OK, so listen. So on Tuesday, I'm going to be uh, doing a zoom in with the homies and I'm highlighting black businesses. We got a, a, a shoe owner. We have a couple health and wellnesses. We got a barbers. We got um, LeBaron, who is from uh, Popcorn World, doing the world of flavor.com. I take it but I'm I not going to be on there. Huh? I'm not going to be on there. Absolutely. You be at the comedy uh, and then we also have uh, <laughs> one young lady who, who, who specializes in sexual health and relationships, and she's a dominatrix. Now, I'm not speaking on her behalf right now, but I knew someone who was a dominatrix and she established her domin dominance over guys like putting them in dog cages, like literally kennels. They would come over to her house, clean the whole house, sweep, do dishes and all of this shit. Yeah. This is like 2007. Sweep, do the dishes, and then literally just lay on the ground at her feet like a doll. And this is how she established her dominance. And why is that not enough? Why do you have to look. abuse that man's anal cavity? Why does he want his anal cavity? Oh, yeah. He wants it. He, 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 he wants it. He wants it. So I'm like, like, well, in that okay. case, but then. Yes, Jackie, where you get that from? Look, I shot First a pilot, all, right? And First of all, that's doo doo in there. From no, Jackie's I, anal. I, I shot a pilot in Arizona, and this I lesbian female, this lesbian couple, they own a, they own a glass blowing shop, I and they that. made this for me as a souvenir. Yeah, 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 put, it, oh, put it down, put it down, put it down, because they'll flag the video. They'll put their flag. Well, yeah. It's a, it's a vase, guys. Uh, uh, it's a vase. It's a vase. You can't tell YouTube. I just, I just, I just can't. I can't. I can't monetize this one right here. That's all. I just won't monetize this video right here. Even oh, though it's I'm sorry. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead, Keon, with the other question. Really, we we can say all kind of stuff, but you can't show nothing. That's so weird. Hey, it's a vase. Oh, it's weird, a, it's for weed. It's for it's, weed to yeah, smoke. It's, it's, it's you it's smoke it out the hole in the top, and you put it in the balls, and then you. Are you are you smoking the car? Out the. Go ahead, Keon. Keon had another question. Go ahead, I just had more questions for Peggy Pegerson over here. Because you said you wanted to be done. So so you 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 consider yourself. What would happen? Let's say you and a gentleman was, you know, doing what you do, and he just happened to choke the shit out of you. Like, how would you handle that? Because that's not the same thing, Keon. That's not the same thing. I hope not. Because I'm going to choke me, but. 
Like, I yeah, as long as she don't black out and die, it's okay. Yeah. No, I'm asking because she said it sounds like she wanted to be the dominant one. So I'm saying, what if you just got absolutely manhandled? It's called reciprocity. You do, he do. You do, he do. No, there's no wait, 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 wait. What's Real wrong quick. with just straight sex? I You're don't know. boring, Jay. I need to get your girl's asshole out. I was seeing the girl and she was like, Do you want to eat my ass out? And I was like, Nah, I'm cool. And she was like, I'll take a shower. I was like, there's not enough showers in the fucking world. Before we go any further, before we go any further, I have to point this out. Uh, Hippie Ghost, shout out to Hippie Ghost. She's one of my mods. She had posted a flyer today, and the flyer says, Will Keon Poli have a shirt on? Probably not. Will no. Tapara adjust her pants? Most likely. And right now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> hey, look, to here, I was already typing add hippie. There she go. <laughs> Tara, you need to text Cotty. <laughs> Takara, will you marry me? <laughs> you don't eat ass, Jay. Yeah. I Jay. don't need to eat ass. Boring, eat Jay. Jay. So a couple if of things, you guys. Her, one, uh, ladies, <laughs> just just so we're clear. Bleach. No, no, no. Let's, you, hey, 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 hey! You ain't got to do all that. Jay, Jay gonna grow up now. Yeah. If, no, if he's, he's not. I will he's, never eat that. I'm cool. Oh, wait, Jay, I don't Jay, understand Jay, why Jay, people won't eat, people Jay, won't listen, eat potato salad Jay, from Jay, some person that has Jay, cats, but listen, they will eat ass. Jay, listen to me. Jay, it's, it's Jay. And listen to me. It's your black friend talking to you again. Hey, yeah. Sound like an old man. I'm trying to help you. Listen. Yes. You will one day meet a girl with a really, really nice ass. Thank you. She's going to be, and y'all have already had been, I've been there. Listen, let me finish. Stop yelling. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's going to get out I'm of the drunk. Shower. She's going to get out of the shower. You're going to be off that two more do, and you're going to eat her ass. And you're going to hey, be proud Jay, of her. Jay, Jay, if you, Jay, if you're a real G, let me tell you what this, this girl I used to fuck with, she had a super fat ass, and she would like be squatting, like uh, okay, Meg the side knee squat, like as she get ready to go somewhere, I would lay on my back and slide under her like a mechanic. I'm like, yeah, it's before we go anywhere. <laughs> It ain't all the time. It's not all the time. I, didn't feel like that was I, was, I don't want to. I do not want to taste pennies or Jay, fucking Jay, a Jay. nine volt battery. I'm cool. Jay, Jay, I don't need Jay, to Jay, taste that. For some men, for some up, men who swear they don't like it, like the same guy I talked about, very macho, doesn't do, doesn't. And doesn't uh, enthusiastically do all that stuff. Enthusiastically, I've been drinking too. But <laughs> you sit back there just like. But I was fresh out the shower. Fresh out the shower. And I'm just laying down on my phone. And he decided I feel comfortable enough now. The mood look, has to hit you. Look, and probably you need a very clean girl. Yeah, you, you gonna when you push your chick's legs back all the way to knees to shoulders. That's right? like, like the gold member. Blue, yeah, um, you and you and you eating her pussy like flat tongue. You gonna you gonna it's, go it's right there. No, it's right there. I won't. I will not. Hey, hey, I don't want it done to me. I don't need it done to me. Wait, 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 wait. This hey, is no, why, this honestly. is white people's problem. They're not open minded. <laughs> this is exactly what we're talking about. Hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I went to college in Montana. They're so it is more yeah, rare no. for black men to do it. I'm surprised to hear a white guy be against it. Most right, all, honestly, but here's Jay, the problem with Jay. Wait, 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 Boo, are you serious? So I grew up, I, I, I wanted, I'm gonna shout them out, Matt and Mark Garlington. You ain't there, you I'm ain't sure they don't want to be shouted out for this. Yeah. But growing up, Mark Garlington was like my big brother. Mark Bar Garlington Ooh. is black and he was telling me, growing up he was like, if I ever hear you ate out a girl, that was the big thing. It was like, black dudes didn't eat out girls. So I was like, oh shit, I guess I don't eat out girls. Well, they do my big brother Mark was telling me, they don't eat out girls. Eat, and then one day he was just like, out. I they, ate out this girl. They, and I was, was like, oh, I guess we just did we do it. That was what? your past, Jay. Let it go. Was he that Jamaican? Was 
I'm not eating the girl's <laughs> fucking <laughs> food. Oh, wow. Was he was he it's Jamaican? Like, was he Jamaican? Like, Jamaican like, men don't eat. No, no, don't eat. It was, I was like, oh, wait, wait. Y'all, y'all got to understand. First of all, Jay is the oldest person in this group. Um, he does not look like it. He does not look like it, but he is. So I remember. They have the same age. No, Jay. Jay I, re- I, rem- I remember. I remember in the the early two thousands to like two thousand ten. Eating pussy wasn't good. It, I mean, it wasn't cool. Like you got shunned for it. It's not something you bragged about doing. It was not a thing to do. And from like from like ninety five to like two thousand and ten, nobody was really That's bragging true. about That's doing true. it. And now not it's right. a pickup line. It's literally a pickup line. Yes. I just got a pussy. That's a you pickup see the line. Beer? The no, you don't, Jay, wait, that's what your beard Jay, is. You don't eat pussy. Even I had some pussy before, okay? It's not that oh. bad. It's not oh. that bad. I eat God pussy. Damn it. That was the thing. That, that was like white dudes' things. White dudes ate that's pussy. The whole girlfriend. White dudes it had big that, that, that was our thing. Hey, watch this. Jay, watch this. Watch this. Let me tell you. Let me show you how the Lord works. Yes, so sir. One time. Won't he do it? Hmm. Don't so do that. Time. I rebuke all of this. I rebuke it. <laughs> Look, I was uh, alone with a chick in the hotel room. It was kind of clear that we had just decided to we wasn't fucking yet, right? right what was his name? Oh my God, Jay! Would you, you don't just... need to know her name? I do not speak. Jay is an old days. drunk dude at the corner bar. Um, <laughs> we're in this, we're, but we're I'm, I have a room that there, and it's midday. Nobody cares. We didn't, cares. Did, we didn't get, get the date and shit, so now we just kicking it, and you know it's sleepy McCuddle time, right? I'm like, this is the first time I ever had the thought. It's probably the, one of the last times I ever had this thought. I was like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm eating some pussy today. We're not fucking, but there's a lot of other shit we could do. Yes. Today, I'm eating pussy. I went to pull her pants down, and mind you, I'm going for a full session, right? Yes, Takara. I put her, her panties down, and you know what was down there, Jay? What? A little diamond, because it was pierced, and I said... Well, look at the little treat I got. I'm supposed to eat this pussy if it's a where diamond. Was diamond. Where, was it, where was it pierced? It was a uh, clitoral hood. Like, um, like, right, like, right. And I was like, I heard those. A, a, I found treasure. Yeah, that's a, that's a, a that is so an infection. On the knee right pull there. back when you're in there, you in there, bro. Yes. If she toot, if she tooted yeah. up a little bit, I'm hey, about the, to put you on the, band, Jay. the nerve <laughs> endings inside, right? Are on both sides of what? It's a very, it's a very thin layer in between those two holes. The nerve endings are on both sides. Of after what? You get done after you get done with the. <laughs> if you slide two fingers and rub your fingers together and hit nerve in, they'll die. They will die. They literally die. Not like oh, I have an orgasm. They pass out. You got to bury the body. Like they die. Wait, I don't understand. Where are you? Where is that? Wait, what? The no nerve. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with you, Jay? You hey, are a why child. At this age, bro, you should know this shit already. <laughs> it's the nerd. The I'm not nerd. eating the girl's asshole. I'm not eating the women's asshole. I don't need anybody to eat my asshole. I'm not eating anybody's asshole. Oh, All right. Okay. Moving on. Moving on. Um, you have neighbors, eight, Jay? Jesus Christ. We got about, no, 18, we got about 18 minutes left. We got about oh, 18 shit, minutes left. Bad. So, um... Going into the new year, because realistically, it looks like it's going to be 2021 before the world opens oh, all the I'm way back up. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. You'll make it. Don't say that, Please don't say that. You're I'm be, sad. You're I'm be, sad. I'm too sad all the time. You're going to be all just fine, Jackie. Trust me. I'm going to start sending you inspirational quotes every morning since you said that, okay? Because I really <laughs> need be so annoying. Nah, I'm serious. Like, I, I have a couple make people. It. I'm sad I have a couple much. people that I have to literally do that for because I know... They don't have people in there. Here's, here's the thing, it's, it's hard when you have, and I, I always feel bad for ladies because there are a lot of guys in ladies' lives, not all of them, but a lot of guys who are just waiting for the opportunity to slide in. So whether it be, you know, they break up with a boyfriend or somebody makes them upset or it's a drunk at night, they want to make a, I mean, a mistake. A lot of guys are just waiting for that opportunity. So I always try to be the friend that's really just, an unconditional friend. It don't matter the situation. You can trust me. I want to be there for you. The thing I was going to ask, because that's that's completely separate. If you could plan a 10 city tour for all the comics in here, what are your 10 cities you hit? I don't, I work, at, I'm a cashier at the stop and shop near my house now. I, I gave oh, up. Shut up. 
Um, Charlotte. Nigga. Denver. Oh. <laughs> that was aggressive. Very aggressive. <laughs> Charlotte is incredible, bro. Like, you said what is? You said what, Ken? I said Charlotte is. That's the best Charlotte, that I've ever yeah, had. Charlotte, Charlotte, nigga. Ten? Charlotte. You want ten? How about five? Nashville. Ten is easy. You got it, Jay. Nashville. Um, I love I love sack punchline. If we're talking comedy clubs specifically, and it doesn't have to be limited to the country too. BT, if you've been out of the country, you had a great time there. It, it's not limited to the country. I want to go to the UK. I was I was gonna try yeah, to Paris be lit. come to Ireland. I wanted to spend August in London, and that's over now. Man, fuck London, Ireland. I'm not muted. I'm good. Don't go to Ireland. Okay, that's. I, that's I'll, 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 I'll kick it off first. I'll kick it off first. So that know. way, you guys got time to get yours together. Um, I would go London, St. Louis, Chicago, Baltimore. I fuck with Baltimore. Uh, uh, Denver, Atlanta, uh, mm. Tampa. Dallas and Houston. Yeah. Now Dallas, Arlington or Addison? Arlington. <laughs> Arlington. Uh, wanna... And then and then uh actually, you know where? Oklahoma. Fire ass show. I had a good I had a good time in Oklahoma. I had a fire ass time in Oklahoma. I want to do I want to do more black clubs because the guys the guys like me. I get a lot of attention. Okay. Can I can I go? I'm gonna call Chuckles for you. Go Keenan, go Keenan. Uh, I'll go uh, Richmond, Virginia. Uh, Virginia, yes. love both of those cities. Tampa, amazing. amazing. Surprisingly, o o Omaha, Nebraska was absolutely fire. Really? Yes. I had a great time in Minnesota too, but go ahead. Fire. I said yes. I Omaha, said Nebraska, yes. Uh, Oakland. Oakland is incredible. I forgot about Oakland. Uh, I forgot about Oakland. Da uh, uh, Dallas, uh, Arlington, because that was beautiful. Also, I would say Houston. Um, was that eight right there? Um, uh, 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 Ohio in general. Yes. I would say. I would say. I, I mean, I've had some good, and, good, and good and great shows in Ohio. I would say Cleveland. Cleveland was a uh, Cleveland, Cleveland was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Cleveland was, Cleveland was dope. Then I wrap it up with. Um, yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota was fire too, man. Phoenix yeah. is a pretty good city. I haven't been to Phoenix yeah. in a minute. Phoenix, Phoenix is live. Uh, Keon and then Jay. Okay. Uh, first off, everywhere, because I don't bomb, oh, nigga. Uh, secondly. <laughs> don't bomb Keon. I fucking love it. Don't bomb me. No, uh, <laughs> uh, definitely Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte might be three of the spots. Charlotte, Edmonton, Canada. Yes! I'm sorry. Edmonton, Canada, uh, <laughs> Oakland, um, Portland. Woo! Portland. Uh, Fucking boo. I like I like Houston. Um, and then I, I got five. I got five. Keon, let me ask you: When you went to Edmonton, what what time of the year was it? I've gone at different times. I've been to Edmonton a lot. I went to Edmonton. I want to say it was. Um, Maybe right before the summer, maybe like maybe like June. And when I tell you that sun didn't set to eleven thirty at night. Thank you. I, yeah. it freaked me out to hear. Eleven thirty at night and it's still daylight. And you just like, fam, I'm ready to go night night. <laughs> you literally your hotel literally has to have blackout curtains for you to get a good night's rest. Is yeah, that guys, is that real? You guys said my other ones, like like Richmond, Virginia was dope, Tampa was dope, Orlando was dope. Orlando. Nashville's fun. great. Great. I love Nashville. Yeah. Uh, there's so many, man. Uh, I do. I write my stuff down, Mia. Minnesota. Minnesota was cool, but I didn't fuck with it like that. Okay. Uh, San Diego, I love. San Diego's fine. I like San Diego, too. San Diego's fine. I've always had great shows in San Diego. Sa San Jose, I love. Why you got uh, Jackie? Is that 10? I think that's 10, right? I don't know. Okay, who's that? Me? I, I smashed my drinks to catch up with Jay, and I'm gone. It's, it's Jay <laughs> and then you to car. Okay, come on, Jay. Boston, fucking Worcester, kid. Which is, I know it's in Massachusetts, but it's a, you gonna name some black neighborhoods? I know that. A little uh, <laughs> easy. Uh, fucking Sac Town. I fucking love Sacramento. Uh, let's do Seattle, and uh, let's do fucking. So wait, we got Boston, Worcester, Oakland. Sac. I need two more. 
You know what? Oakland. Fucking let's do Oakland. I like. I'm cool with Oakland. And let's do uh, the fifth one. I'll do Seattle because I was in Seattle for a long time. I right. am fucking gone. I That's love you all. AJ. No, I you gonna stay right here? You ain't going nowhere. No, we did got Jay, wait, did Jay just say New Orleans, or was that in the comments? Am I tripping? Yeah, I New Orleans. New Orleans. Fuck it. So New Orleans. I, somebody in the comments said New Orleans. I forgot about New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. I'm fucking. I would going. do New Orleans. So I would sub New Orleans for something because New Orleans. I've always had a great show. New Orleans, New Orleans so great. I get to eat. Yeah, I'm in. I want. I want to. I want to do New Orleans. Here, New Orleans. here. Can I just say one thing real quick to here? Yeah. I want to just say how great, I, dude. I'm so fucking hammered. I don't even have the fucking screen up. That is the fucking Zoom. All right, here it is. Here it is. Okay. I want to just tell about. Uh, I was about to say Zoom to here. We were in, I don't know what city we were in, but as a comic, Keon, fucking Keenan, BT, Jackie, you will appreciate that. Takara, you will appreciate that. We were in, I think it was New Orleans. Uh, Tahir was hosting, and they were not feeling it. They were not feeling it. And Tahir shifted and fucking called everybody out on it. And it was the greatest hosting set. And people think hosting is just some shit role on a comedy show hosting is the most important fucking set on a whole comedy show to here took over and fucking shifted in the middle of his set called everybody out on it and fucking acknowledged what was happening and that nobody was fucking on board and then started addressing every single person on it and i was like this is the single greatest hosting set and i know i'm slurring the right words but I fucking love to hear. He was fucking great. He is an amazing He's an, an amazing. That's why I vouch for him at the Brad Garrett's Comedy Club. And I hope you're hosting. And I am fucking hammered. And Takara, I am going to slide in your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. I love you all. <laughs> To car, <laughs> Jay want to eat ass, but he too tall. I'm his, not eating ass. I'm and his back is fucked up. He can't ass. get down there. Oh you know, my god! Ass. Shut up. You, you think you gonna date the car and not eat that ass? <laughs> I'm not eating ass. I don't want it done to me. I will not ask of the person to do it to me. You, you go. You gonna eat some ass, boy? Are oh, you gonna come around? Not eating ass. I guarantee you. Yeah, you take the car. You gonna eat the ass? We got Jackie done it already. Okay, so. God damn, that was funny. Okay, fuck. Okay, um, let me. <laughs> Jay's open honesty right now is so funny. It's so funny. He said, I'm fucking done. And to Cara, it's fucking gone. Oh, it is gone, Samir. Okay. Jay, all you right, took yeah. all that? <laughs> so, my, my, my top 10 is Tempe, Arizona. Um, any comedy club in Ohio, I had a great time. Oakland, Richmond, Virginia, Virginia Beach. Um, Tampa, Miami, Florida, uh, Cape Girardeau, Missouri. Cape Girardeau. Uh, Cape Girardeau, yes. The yep. amazing fucking comedy club. I had a great time. Uh, Canada, anywhere in Canada when I toured with Chelsea Handler, we had a dope time in Canada. And Milwaukee. I had a great... <laughs> and what? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jackie Fabulous, let me hear you. You want to drop the kids off? She Please. was in my house. She was at my I house. I got seven weekend. too. Can I bring seven? Would you that like one was at my house last weekend. No, I don't want a popsicle, honey. Thank you. Jackie, what you got? So here has our, our Jackie Fabulous. Can I just say, Jackie Fabulous have the greatest energy. Uh, fucking don't turn, tilt your fucking head. I'm you ain't want to slide in her DM. Jackie. You could have said y'all wanted you want to slide in our DM. No, 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 no. I'm sliding in your <laughs> specifically, Takara. Nobody <laughs> else. Yes, Jack. Jackie has the best energy of possibly any person I've ever met. Whether she's has an she's attitude right here, Jay. I'm or she's positive. Here. Fuck off. I know I'm hammered. I don't give a fuck. I love Jackie Fabulous. I will say it till the day I die. Jackie Havilla, Jack Fabulous. Jack, 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 Energy. Jack, 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 Jack. Fuck you all. Okay, let we'll let Jackie go. Go okay, ahead, okay. Jackie. Your top ten. Go ahead, Jackie Havilis. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't care. Whatever. Oh, Jackie, I want to hear it. 
Come on, I want to know yours. Come on, I put glasses up. I thought it'd tear up. It doesn't matter. Every all work is good work. What's what tearing what up about, Jackie? What happened? Are you Jack? being toxic? I don't, I'm not okay most days. Yeah, you're an you asshole. You can watch me do stuff. I'm going to be by myself, but you can watch. Hey, Jackie, Katara, I'm going to call you, I'm call you after this over, Jackie. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can call definitely call can watch. Jackie, I love you. I love you, Jackie. You love me. Why'd you put on a do rag? I'm sorry, are you talking to me or BT? BT, he about to do his Dracula Jones. Yeah, oh, I, mo I moved it up for because uh, to hear his audience is amazing. So I'm gonna uh, do this le legit two hours early. All right, well let's let's get it kicking no, off. No, no, we no rush, no rush. No, 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 no it's, rush. Fine. It's, it's fine, it's fine. So I gotta get ready to go. I no, I don't want you to leave. I want you to take time. <laughs> I gotta pick up the kid. Um, this, like, time, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time. This is the time where we do the goodbyes. We do the thank yous. Jackie um, didn't say her cities. <laughs> She don't want to. We're not going to force her. Yeah, we're not going to force her. Um, an asshole, BT. I'll kick it off real quick. Um, <clears throat> oh, snap. That is not the right thing. What? I want to give a shout out to uh, Andrika, Jarrell, <laughs> Jasmina, Essence, Michael Carr, Kiara, uh, Lalita, Talia. <laughs> I'm going to go on a limb. And these are a lot of non-white names. No, I got some white ones in here, too. Uh, Carisha, Marvin, <laughs> Sojourner. Rich, uh, Rich, Rich could be a white name. Uh, shout out to LeBaron, uh, Shanerica, 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 J Mo, Imani, Rich again, uh, James, Janine, Irvin, and Irvin. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm gonna let everybody else go, and then I will give you guys the wrap up for tomorrow and Friday. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be back on Monday. So go ahead, Carl. You want to kick it off for us? What am I doing? Saying thank you. Okay. Um, I want to say thank you to um, somebody said, can I have a hug? I can hug good. <laughs> What's up, girl? Derek, <laughs> Na Naya. Thank you, Naya. Jarrell, um, Angel, Patrick, Alicia, Calvin, Jamal, Amanda, Essence, LeBaron, Demisha, Xavier, Michael, Imani, Brian, Irvin, James, the Wardros, Janine, Tommy. Um, I can't even say everybody, but thank y'all so much for sending uh, to my cash app. I appreciate you. Um, the Life After Divorce Tours is coming soon. I just haven't been mentally in the right space because there's a lot that's been happening. Um, but thank y'all so much. And I am single and I only stood up because Hippie Gold said it in a post. She said, Takara will probably stand up and adjust her pants. And I just wanted to make sure I was able to provide that for the people. Um, <laughs> And uh, and Jackie, you can watch me. Um, I'm gonna be by myself, but you can sit in the room and watch. And, and I mean, Takara, it'd be cool if you said something to me. Hey, Jay. Uh, and, and Big Irish, I'm waiting for Big Irish to slide in my DMs. I keep looking. Oh, at I will. Yeah. Okay. I keep. Um, looking at let's, go with, let's go with. Let's go with. Uh, 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 uh with thank, first of all, thank you to here for having me. I appreciate yeah, you, my you. brother. Absolutely. Um, and I want to thank uh, uh, Alicia, Tony, James, uh, Gary. LeBaron, Essence, Shanerica, I'm sorry if I, sorry if I said that wrong, Michael, uh, Irvin, Dennis, and uh, Janine, I think one more, thing, uh, and Andrika. So, and, and shout out to somebody that said it like Omar Gooden Jr. Jr. too. In the, in the <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dominique, what you got going? Hi, uh, thank you to JR, I mean, sorry, JT Smith, because I was like, oh shit, JR Smith, no, JT Smith, Rich B. Irvin, LeBaron, James, Imani, Michael, Essence, Alicia, Sojourner. I said that's so country. Uh, Jordan, <laughs> Andrika, and Tony. Wow. Um, I just want to say this. Um, follow me on Instagram at St. Angeles. I might or might not start an OnlyFans. And I want the world to know that your relatives can get cut the fuck off too. It does not matter who you are. You can, you can block them whatever because if they toxic and they serve no purpose and raising and lifting you up in your life, you can delete them too. And that is okay. It doesn't matter if it's your mama or your daddy. You can to the left them. All right. Appreciate that. Uh, BT, you want to go ahead and go vote. Back? Don't forget to vote. Facts. Please get out there and vote. And while you're voting out there, please get out there and like the uh, the video as well. We still at, I think uh, we hit 3,100 tonight, yes. uh, but we still at 2,500 right yes. now. We only got 1,400 likes. If we can get 1,400 likes to 2,000 likes, guys, it would make my freaking night, man. So please, please, please like the video and make sure you subscribe as well. Uh, BT? BT? 
<laughs> nigga, it's on you. Are you mute? You're mute. You're mute. What is happening? Right. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, there. I, uh, I was all heartfelt and shit. I don't want this to get uh to get lost in translation. Um, he not on camera, but to hear, I fucking love you, bro. We love um, you. Thank you. I don't. I don't know if, but pre this quarantine, uh, everybody on this screen, we kind of already had relationships and knew each other and so on and so forth. But what happens is, is since this quarantine, we've all had to throw audibles and adjust. You have been extremely kind with sharing as you grow and are exploding on all the social media platforms and all your pages are on fire and the shows you're doing on, are on fire, you have been sharing that platform with others. I appreciate the fuck out of you, bro. Thank and, you, bro. Uh, I appreciate uh, it. Give me five episodes. You came and showed the fuck out. Um, I watched it again when we premiered it on Facebook and it was still fucking hilarious. Every time I watch it, I laugh harder. Um, Funny so, with that being said, uh, for anybody that's on here, listen, you guys, when we're creating this content and, and whether it's to here or, or, or Dominic or, or, or Jackie or anybody is creating content, even somebody you don't look, you don't know, you are supporting black businesses, Jay, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, you are, so if, we're, if it's a content creator, the likes, the comments, the shares mean everything, you guys. It's free content. You watch it for free. Or even if you pay it, the shares and the likes help the growth. It helps the system know that more people should see it. And please, press the like. It ain't it ain't going to do you no, no harm to just go press that like if you enjoyed yourself. Um, and the comments mean a lot also. With all that being said, most importantly, uh, Discord for me and Twitch. Um, I'm going on live now. For yeah, if you right. up, please pull up. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, give me five is on all platforms. We on our way to new goals. Uh, to hit it, so we can drop another episode. We lit. It is. All right, Jackie Fabulous, take us home, baby. Uh oh, God, this uh, this is not a humble brag. There's too many names to mention. Thank you for everybody that sent the cash app also. Yes, thank you to everyone who sent the cash app. You all said very, very supportive words to me as a result of me telling my story of me, uh, of, you know, love life. And the lipstick is Retro Matte from MAC. It's called Old Baby. Everyone's women. Well, my guys, too, want to know what the color is. Um, <clears throat> Wait, your color is Old Baby? Yeah. They changed it? You know that used to be a gloss. Right? Used, no, they have an old baby hot pink gloss, and I have that, but this is old baby. It's a retro matte, though. But what yeah. the fuck? Old I baby know. used to be like my color. Mac, Mac be tripping. I don't, you go there, and they discontinue shit. They're very mean. They can be very they mean. They are. They, they are. They are. No. They are. They can be. Uh, guys, uh, go to JackieFabulous.com. I started up my podcast. Uh, go to my YouTube. <clears throat> YouTube.com slash Jackie Fabulous. My ep episodes that are there now are me and Sherry Shepard. Two hour talk. Uh, I'm going to load Ty Barnett from America's Got Talent. He was on it last Tuesday. This tomorrow, I'm uh, interviewing Nate Jackson. And Friday, Mike Yard, Sherrod Small, and John Lester, the New York guy at the Comedy Cellar. The regulars there. So I'm working to get myself back up. I just need to, <clears throat> I need to, I need to get out the house. And yes. the car. And that Takara, I want to interview Takara because she has a lot to talk about. Because you know, <laughs> she's been real busy with her varieties. I have, and, um... unapologetically. <laughs> well, you know the reason why I want to talk about it because I, I maybe I can relate to you. You don't know my life. Um, you can call me. Okay, you're right. And, uh, and uh, thank you guys for saying nice things to me. I, I I have been sad, but that's to be expected, and it's okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, just, just know, Jackie, you are loved and I won't call you tonight because I don't want to be all up. You know, I like girls, person. Jackie, you better shut but, up. <laughs> <laughs> but just know I'm going to call you and check on you and tell you that I love you and want to love on you. Nobody trusts the car now. They want to be around you like, hey, hey Jackie. <laughs> Uh, Keon, <laughs> close us out. Like I definitely want that. Keon, did you go? Go ahead, Keon. I was just waiting, I, you know. Chilling. Keon fucked up. When I'm in California, Keon, me and Takara are coming over, so just get stretch, stretch your hamstrings, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, to piggyback off BT, man, shout out to Tahir for, you know, the platform, for getting everybody together, because we can't see each other. We ain't been around. We ain't no. been working regularly. So, you know, this is dope to be able to do this, and, you know, yada, yada, yada. 
all the mushy shit. And then uh, <laughs> shout out to DT for the same thing. He's been sharing like crazy. He's got his club going on after this. Make sure everybody tap in there. Get into that. Um, Cash App Wise, uh, Irvin, Carl, James, Nova, Michael, Imani, James, Prissy, Ricky. Uh, Tommy, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> Alicia, Chloe, Tony, Andrika, thank you so much. Um, and everybody who watches this stuff and participates, all these likes, shares, views, mm-hmm. even people who ain't fans of everybody. Like so many people, you watch it and you have your favorites, you have your dislikes. Some people love Jackie, love to hear, and then they don't like me or whatever. And, you yeah. know, I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. I don't care. But <laughs> it's like, you know, thank y'all for keeping tuning in and keeping to hear stuff alive and everything like that. Um, tomorrow night, every Thursday, me and my wife, uh we do a nine o'clock uh one hour live on ig not smashing but like a one hour uh <laughs> that. It, it might be what it is y'all just pull up <laughs> one hour live on ig where we talk about you know, we 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 transparent so we'd be talking we on there every thursday at nine o'clock um me and tony baker have a podcast called daddy issues that airs every wednesday y'all make sure you check that out and make sure you check out every comic in here and the stuff they put out and support them they are it is black business minus jay uh, but he's a good guy. You know what I mean? He's a good guy. Well, he's an ally. Yeah. I'll wait for him in my DMs. I ain't seen him yet. And love to everybody. And I'm going to have to call <laughs> you guys tonight. And uh, yeah, man. And, uh, and and this is a good conversation. Good understanding. Good, you know, you get to learn different things and see different things. But all this was great. And uh, yeah, I'm drunk. So that's it. The, the <laughs> I love it. Love it. The best thing that I've heard, I, I read, said about to hear in this project is that people are waiting for the way they would they'd wait for the Arsenio Hall show to start. Oh, they shit. they equated it to that. They'd wait all day yes. until this show started every night. That's what it's like for people who are watching this. They look forward to it because there there's nothing on TV because there's no production. Nothing is new. You are the only thing to watch in the world to hear. Just so you know. But to hear, you. can I can I say something real quick to hear? Of you course you can. <laughs> go ahead, but, uh, is it a non-white thing? I would no, say. God, God <laughs> say. Okay. Go first of all, to, so I was working with Tahir. Tahir was hosting. First of all, I and I know I'm slurring my words. Please <laughs> forgive me. I'm hammered. It's an Irish thing. You guys wouldn't understand. Uh, Tahir was hosting for the uh, real comedians of social media. <laughs> Tahir, fuck, I'm playing poker online as I'm talking to you guys. Fold that, okay. Let all me right, go back. Down, you focus. Good. The more important. Shut up. <laughs> First of all, Tahir was hosting. I think we were in New Orleans, and Tahir was hosting a show. Crowd wasn't feeling it. Tahir mid show. You shifted. Did it you told the story it, already. Oh, shut okay. up, Jackie. Hey, Let me finish the this thought. Hey, I can't you, focus. Let hey, me finish this story already. Hey, you told the story already. Tahir shifted. Mute and him. started calling out the audience, and it was one of the greatest things <laughs> I've ever seen in comedy. Here is an amazing host. People don't understand. The host is shut the fuck up. Dang. Jackie, god damn it. Dang. I don't even Dang. know if you're talking, Jackie. Let me finish this song. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Everybody, everybody let him finish. Everybody let him finish. Let him finish. Thank him finish. you, Tier. I'm giving you a compliment. I'm sure that's why you want me to finish. So Tahir was hosting, people <laughs> weren't finishing it, and Tahir And then what happened? Mid-sentence, mid-sentence. And Thomas will appreciate that, appreciate this, and called the co- the audience on it, and called them out. And I was, hey. I, I posted about what it. I was like, Tahir is one of the greatest, fuck you, Jackie. I love you, Jackie, but fuck you. Tahir is one of the greatest hosts I've ever seen. Right. Ralph Gordon is an amazing host. Tahir is amazing, so amazing host. People don't understand. The host is one of the most, if the not the most important. Show. Host. Fuck know. all of you. Let me wait. finish. No, wait, 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 he didn't tell us, Jay. Don't give a fuck. Jay, oh, tell us about wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Jay, tell us about oh, wait, the story wait, 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 about Tahir hosting. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody hold on. So what happened with Tahir hosting? I, I Everybody mean, calm down. Everybody calm down. Um, Jay, thank you for that. I appreciate all the kind words from everybody here tonight. Thank, thank you. Jay, everybody can you say that one more watching. time? I didn't hear it. <laughs> Every, Jay, can you tell the story watching. about hosting? I got to pick up my kids. We're talking about Jackie. Everybody, Jackie, I love her. Jackie, always got positive energy. Everybody just calm down. Everybody calm down. 
Everybody calm down. I have to pick up my kid, okay? She's at a friend's house. I just want to say thank you to everybody for all the kind words. I appreciate hey, it. Twice. I work, I we work love hard. you here. I'm going to mute everybody just because y'all won't shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know what's so hard about just being quiet for just literally three minutes. Um, three minutes? <sighs> Sorry. Thank y'all so much for watching. It's been another episode of Zimmer with the Homies. Mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night, we got a, uh, a really dope show. It's the All Deaf Reunion, so you don't know who's going to pop up it's there. It's not going to match this. The it's flyer. not going to match this. I love exactly. you, BT. I love you, Jackie. I love All you. All right, guys, y'all been great. Right, I don't really know you. Like y'all later.